से ही आनंद मोते दिया माँ से ही आनंद तुम्हारी सेवा परम आनंद मोते दिया माँ से ही शिवरविंद संस्कृति संसद मातृविहार खंडगिरी भुवनेश्वर पक्ष आयोजित तीन दिनिया शिवरविंद निखिड़ उत्कल पाठचक्र सम्मन को समस्त को स्वागत करम्मन प्रभावान धारा को अब्याहत रखापी आम अनल सम्मन को आपण मान पाखे पहुँचापी उद्यम कर कही रखुति जे उन्नीस अड़सठी मसीह 
भुवनेश्वर ठारे के मातृप्रेमी मालिक उद्यम शिवरबिंद संस्कृति संसद पाठचक्र गठन कर अड़सठी मसीहा उड़ीता पोतार पर वर्ष उन्नीस अणसठी मसीह दुईटी पाठचक्र सम्मेलन शिवरबिंद संस्कृति संसद पक्षर भुवनेश्वर ठारे आयोजित होता कि उन्नीस सतुरी मसीह भुवनेश्वर ठारे ओडार प्रथम पूर्णांग शिक्षा केन्द्र शिवरबिंद पूर्णांग पूर्णांग शिक्षा केन्द्र स्थापन होगा पर पाठचक्र सम्मेलन आयोजन करने संभव हो ना शिवरबिंद संस्कृति संसद मातृप्रेमी मान विद्यालय विभिन्न कार्यक्रम और उत्सव अनुष्ठान व्यस्त रही कि सम्मेलन को पुणी थे अनुषित करने उद्यम होता एवं शिवरबिंद संस्कृति संसद मातृप्रेमी मान उद्यम उन्नीस तेयानबे मसीह यार तृतीय थर शुभारंभ होता सतईशतम सम्मेलन अवसर में राज्य कोण अनुकोण अनलाइन एंश ग्रहण कर सब मातृप्रेमी भाई भी मान स्वागत करुचंदन ज्ञापन करन दिन धरी प्रतिदिन सका दस टू बारटा पर्यत अनल अनुषित होगा जा सम्मेलन को उद्घाटन करने पंडिचेरी शिवरबिंद आश्रम विशिष्ट साधक डर आलोक पांडे सदैव स्वीकृति दे प्रथम स्वागत करा तीन दिन वक्ता श्री प्रसाद त्रिपाठी डक्टर अर्चना नायक डक्टर विरंज नारायण महापात्र डक्टर सरोज कांत मिश्र रवींद्रनाथ पाढ़ी उच पदाधर मिश्र को मध्य अवसर में स्वागत कर सभापति तथा शिवरबिंद संस्कृति संसद सभापति डक्टर सातकोड़ी होता एवं द्वितीय दिन सभापति श्री विमल प्रसन्न दास को अभिनंदन ज्ञापन करन सम्मेलन में प्रतिदिन कृतज्ञता ज्ञापन करने सम्मति दे महेन्द्रनाथ स्वाई डक्टर शरद चंद्र रथ और श्री अपत्ति चरण दास स्वागत कर अन्य एक कार्यक्रम आवाहनी संगीत यही आवाहनी संगीत गायन कर श्रीमती शांति महांती श्री रवींद्रनाथ पाढ़ी और श्रीमती सुस्मिता शुभश्री भंज को स्वागत कराँच प्रथम दिन आपण मैंने श्रीमा शिवरबिंद को मानव मानव जाति जो नूत युवक को आवाहन करने जीवन व्यापी साधना करते संपर्क में विस्तृत सूचना पाइबे द्वित दिन यही नूत युगर प्रवेश पापर पापच्छ अतिक्रम कर बाट आपण मान निकट में उन्मोचित हो तृतीय दिन यही महान स्वर्ण युगर धारी धारी और पथ प्रदर्शक माँ को स्मरण कर अभियान करने आशीर्वाद भिक्षा करवा समस्त को अभिनंदन स्वागत और धन्यवाद नमस्ते the subject for today the adventure of a new world it is a very interesting and fascinating subject it is fascinating because uh, shervindo in many ways has broken or revolutionized all the conventional idea of yoga of life of divine of everything of the world <clears throat> and brought us in front of something so new so vast 
so unexpected that truly to walk on this path, as the mother says, one needs to have the spirit of an adventurer. Now, what is this spirit of the adventurer? She speaks in one of her conversations where she says, Who is a person who undertakes an adventure? Somebody who takes delight in the unexpected. If one wants uh, the regular routine thing, standard, set technique, set process, set everything all pre-organized, pre-fixed match, then there is no delight in playing a pre-fixed match. So in this new world which the mother declared as born, 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 something is decided and something is like an adventure. So what is decided, what is certain? The certainty is that the new consciousness is here, the supramental truth consciousness, and it is going to be victorious, it is going to annihilate all difficulties, it is going to transform human nature and give rise to a divine superhumanity of the future, just as man has come out of the animal. So this is wonderful, this is good news. So what is the other news? The other news is, but the path to it is uncertain. That's what she says. So what is uncertain about the path? Because it is such a vast landscape over which an individual moves. And for each individual, it is going to unfold in its own unique way. Therefore, we will be face to face with the unexpected. As Sri says in the hour of God, it is the hour of the unexpected. It will be, we will be face to face with uncertainties. Why uncertainties? The goal is certain. But which way it will unfold itself is something which will depend a lot upon the way we respond to the supramental force, the way we open to the grace, the way we allow ourselves to be carried by the love, the way we aspire, the way we surrender. So all that will determine which way it will unfold. And that is why we see that in the beginning for a long time, Shurvinder and the mother had this consciousness with them, they were experiencing it. But in the beginning we see that when they had tried passing it directly to certain human beings, the results were almost, uh, I won't use the word disastrous, but the other person could not understand even that what is happening. So two examples were when once the mother gave this experience of the infinite in the finite to someone in Japan. She could just pass it on like this. And this man became crazy. He says, take it away, take it away. Why? I can no longer love my country as I was loving it earlier. Because for a Japanese, the highest is the country. Even if divine is there, the divine has to be at the service of the country. See, there is a difference between the two. Whereas in truth, the country has to be in the service of the divine. Everything has to be in the service of divine and truth. But we normally reverse the whole thing. Divine, the worst is divine has to be in the service of my ego. Then the divine has to be in the service of my family. Then the divine has to be in the service of my religion. The divine has to be in the service of my country. The divine has to be in the service of humanity. But here, the whole thing is reversed. That's why in the beginning, Sri said that uh, our yoga is not for ourselves but for humanity. Then he changed it. He said, not for humanity but for divinity. And it created a lot of uh, uncomfortable feeling amongst people. And Sri had to explain this, that what he means by this change. It's reorienting thing. It is going to help humanity. It is a supreme help to humanity. But yoga is not done for humanity. So when the Japanese had this experience, he was so... Uh, so much taken aback, he said, I can't love my country in the way I used to love. And so she had to remove it because there was no preparation. And there is another example where the person, when he suddenly had this experience of the ineffable silence, he said, I think I am going stupid because the mind is not accustomed to it. There are a lot of people who, if you see the letters, when they were experiencing quietude, they felt, oh, I am becoming dull. Whereas actually it was a state of inner quietude. So, seeing this, they knew that a preparation is needed for the rays to arrive. It's not a sudden process. They wanted to give it like this. 
And that's why we see that when mother came, she started building up a new creation, started with the overmind creation, the God started descending. And Shobindu said, no, this is not what we want. We want the perfect perfection, the supramental creation, nothing short of that. So in 1926, he says, within two hours, I removed all that. And then she says, back to the hard work. So what is this hard work? That's why we see from 1926 onward, they gathered around themselves a few disciples. And who were their disciples? Sure, at one place in a letter to Eleanor Montgomery, who compared the ashram to a laboratory. She says, she says somebody has compared the ashram to a laboratory. Sure, says, yes, the ashram is a laboratory as X puts it. And then he explains that it is something very new which is being attempted here. So what is new which is being attempted? Ordinarily, you have a standard path, standard technique, standard goal. Which Shurabindu describes as yoga which is done in artificial canals. So there are paths which are like artificial canals through which the human consciousness can find a door, escape into the infinite. So he uses the word artificial canals, not even natural canals. But this yoga is like a sea, it is an organic process, natural process. That's why he said all life is yoga, subconscious yoga will become conscious yoga. That means every aspect of nature. And if you read the synthesis, he says that the method of the divine Shakti is not the way the human mind prefers. It always wants an affirmation for its ego. But the divine consciousness doesn't work like that. That's why we as human beings cannot understand. And when the divine Shakti begins to act, what it will raise up, what it will put down, what it will prepare and keep in the background, again pick up another part and you may feel hundred times that you are starting as if like a newborn child on the path. She speaks of that. And that can be very disconcerting to people who do not have an absolute trust and faith in the divine. That's why in this yoga there is so much need of faith. Because it's not like a standardized technique. It is not about the soul finding a door like the artificial canal. You jump here, swim and reach the other end. It is about actually the entire ocean we have to map. And that ocean or as Chutnarayanji used to put it, that it is a whole Himalaya Darshan. It is not climbing to one peak. The, our entire nature... And this nature is not just as I think my nature. In one individual life, we take out only one small selection of a long journey. Imagine it's like, you know, people, now it is easy to connect that on computers, you open four or five files at the same time, isn't it? Sometimes you are not able to complete all of them in one day. Let's say there are five different articles you are working. So you pick up one or two. You have thought that maybe you will work on the others, but you don't have time. So what you do is you sh close it. Now next day, you pick out those files which you have not done, which were half. So the cycle of rebirth is like that, where we pick up in one life a particular selection out of our karmic, I won't use the word load, out of the journey. And we work it out. So we think, when we talk of our nature, we think that it's this little personality. But when the force of yoga begins to work, all other personalities, because now it has to speed up. We cannot, you know, start working on one aspect in one life and take hundred lives. No. It is going to speed up. So many lifetimes of issues, many lifetimes of unfinished stories begin to come up. Mother describes it in... Uh, in the agenda because she has done the yoga for the earth. She says, when I started this yoga, suddenly many of the personalities of the past began to come to her. And she describes especially the victorious spirit of Murat, John of Arc. So all these started coming to her from the past because now they want to be useful. They want to integrate with this work. So she told this to Sri and Sri says, but it is natural because you are the Mahashakti. So they are bound to come from the past. And then she gives us a clue that all in the past, which has been buried either in the subconscious store or within, uh, you know, some secret um, aspects of our nature, they will emerge. And because they all are crying that me too, me too, me too. So we have to look at it like that, that suddenly children are playing when... Arti is going on in 
Indian homes or they are laughing at each other. But when the time comes for the prasad, all of them come. I also want it, I also want it. So all these aspects which have been left aside are picked up by the Divine Mother to be integrated in the new creation. Whatever is ready to be integrated. What cannot be integrated will be cast aside. But we can imagine just dealing with one personality of one lifetime which is nothing but a very small little frontal aspect. Mostly what we call as personality is not really the personality. It is just a conditional habitual response which we have gathered in one lifetime. But there is a world out there behind which begins to emerge. All that is suppressed begins to emerge. Mother describes this in the Yoga of Savitri and when it emerges, how we will respond to it? How the, those aspects will respond to the force? How those aspects will, um, be, whether they will be receptive or whether they will resist? All this we do not know. So this is one aspect which makes the whole thing a field of uncertainty opens before us. Then there is another aspect apart from the individual personality. Each individual in this yoga opens to a, becomes a representative of a much larger type of humanity. It's like somebody has to do the dirty work for everyone. And that individual embodies the resistance and the possibility of a particular type of humanity who may be comfortably sleeping in their houses. They don't know about yoga. And this particular individual takes upon himself the burden of this aspect and as the working goes on, as the possibility is realized, it becomes easier for many others. This we know as the morphogenetic resonance principle, wherein one rat who conquers a maze, not a very good example of a rat, but nevertheless, when he conquers, then it, it, the conquest is made in, it's much easier for other rats to solve that puzzle. So this is the second aspect. And the third aspect is the cosmic or the universal problems, resistances in nature itself. For instance, matter. This is the biggest difficulty. It's much easier to work upon the mind. Mind opens very nicely. That's why so many people uh, intellectually, they can, ah, wonderful things they have in the mind. But when it comes to heart, it becomes a little more difficult. But there are people who open in the heart also, very fortunate. Up till this, there is not much problem. But the moment the yoga enters the lower vitals, Shurabindu says, this is the seat of the difficulty and the real battle. So, one had never even imagined that there is in the lower vitals such resistances. And they spring up like demons who were hiding in some underbelly, you know. The story of Agastya Rishi, they were hiding inside the caves. So, we have many things which are hidden inside which we don't know. We find them in others, so what we find in others is actually hidden inside. <laughs> Mother says that the world is a mirror and what you see is in others is inside you. So somebody who has discovered the divine within sees divinity in everyone. Somebody who has discovered the demons within or not discovered but they are crying and one wants to ignore them, sees it in others. So nevertheless, so these aspects are there. There are aspects in universal nature. Lower vital is the same in everyone. It is not that, you know, in the saint it is different, in the sage it's the same, it's, it's animal. And so, what happens in a normal average humanity, we have a nice neat cover-up, sattvic human being. So, he expresses the lower vital modified under the sattvic ego. For instance, when he gets angry at his wife and child, he takes it as sattvic man, there is nothing wrong with it. It's my wife, my child. But in the yoga, it is a very different thing. There is nothing like that. So there are aspects of nature which a sattvic man, by the help of mental control, keeps it under check. But this mental control is released during sleep, it is released during certain exceptional situations like in Yudhishthira's case. But it is there, all these things are shimmering inside. Now what yoga does is, it opens that, the entire lower vital. So when it opens, a big fight ensues and that's why many people who take the yoga with the wrong end start entering into these fights at the very beginning. And it can be completely unnerving, it can topple. And Sri and the mother both advise, first you let the, uh, you know, thought, will, feelings, motives, correct these things. Because they should be rightly oriented. 
when these things are open to the light then when you enter the battle at least you won't deceive yourself you will open you will know that what is what then more than the lower vital it is the physical now in the physical it is the seat of difficulties there are many aspects in the physical that's why you see ganpati who is the lord of obstacles where is his place muladhar muladhar is the physical consciousness so he is there because it's the seat of the tremendous difficulties even nobody can cross it that's why in the typical uh, story where his head is taken off we see that he is standing guard at the doors of the divine mother who is taking a bath you know it's the kundalini shakti if you look at it like that and not even gods can enter it so he has that power to actually remove difficulties precisely because he has that kind of strength inside him but yes he has to allow shiva to pass so that's that's a very symbolic story but in the physical nature the problem with physical nature is anything one has ever experienced once is imprinted so you can imagine that mind doesn't want heart has rejected will says no but the body responds just like a mechanical electrical current you may say that i want lights to work like that but when you switch on it will by a mechanical process it will connect and light will come because it's, and nature has created it over billions of years so when the yoga touches the physical how the cells will respond we don't know in some people it responds with tremendous fear that's why the upanishad says he who removes fear one feels afraid of that and if fear is hidden inside the cells it may have gone uh, uh, by whatever reason but it will come out doubts embedded in the physical matter because matter is defeatist by nature it has been molded under tremendous difficulties so matter doesn't believe in grace so there are people who start with believe in grace faith in grace the moment it touches matter they start developing doubt and they start experiencing dullness inertia illnesses come up some illnesses which appear like insuperable so all these questions are there we will see in sure bin those letters somebody saying why am i experiencing such dullness so he says that because the sadhana is entered into the physical so it is a very different kind of path it's not like i sit for meditation i have this experience then i lead my life and wonderful it's about that complete change and transformation of human nature so one has to go through this process and then it enters the subconscious now that we can imagine this is not uh, easy enough to handle then comes the subconscious and the inconscient subconscious is purely mechanical half conscious irrational things which are hidden inside how many times have we not experienced that consciously we don't want something but like an irrational something it comes up and people say i don't know why it happened of course we know but we could not stop it so that's why because of the immense difficulty of this yoga it was never meant to be a yoga for the masses mother and shubindu both said because not many are ready to bear this kind of a pressure so what applied then applies now also one had to have the call for the yoga you can't take an adventure because your friend is holidaying no somebody says i am climbing mount everest oh you are climbing mount everest yes yes oh chalo i'll also come it'll be great fun fun only up till the base camp or maybe even before that but this person has been marked out for mountaineering you can't tag along and say that now i'll climb mount everest because you are my friend and you are climbing up till a point yes but there will come a point where one has to be ready and prepared then only you can undertake the further journey so this is important that in this yoga that's why the call was important second because it is an adventure there is something needed to pack our bags when we go to the mountain we carry oxygen beyond a point you know we carry certain things in our backpack we carry nice clothing because we may be exposed to biting cold there are certain do's and don'ts so in this yoga also because it's it has the adventure because unknown unexpected what will happen when the divine force touches upon matter we don't know in each one it will react differently 
so we have to carry certain things pack in our bags and one of the places where we find this is uh, beautifully expressed in the mother's writing is she speaks of the five psychological perfections the five qualities in the champak flower or we see the 12 petals in the mother's uh, symbol foremost among them she says because it's an adventure you need courage <clears throat> so what is courage about what is the difference between a courageous person and a not so courageous person courageous person once he accepts that okay i am going to undertake this mission he doesn't turn back you know the other day i was watching this film called paltan people have decided that they are going to fight a courageous person will not then say oh no 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 my i am likely to face death and he'll turn away no he will fight whatever may happen to him he'll fight he knows that even if he perishes while fighting this is his victory victory is not that he runs away from a battlefield and says i am safe the courageous will not be deterred by the challenges of the journey so she says that those who calculate who want to know what is going to happen tell me whether everything will be fine whether my kids will be looked after whether my this whether my that will i mother do you ensure me that i'll get promotion now the new thing has come up i'll never have corona i'll not have this disease are corona is come now disease have been there since millenniums suddenly people ask this question how a devotee has got corona you never ask when a devotee had paralytic attack or a cancer it's it's the matter is imperfect as simple as that and so she says those who calculate will never begin it is like the person who is standing at the sea and saying wow what a lovely sea oh lovely no watch the waves and while he is watching the waves another person has gone far taken the leap so she says if you really want to come to the yoga do not stand on the shore the other day we read this wonderful poem to the sea to stand on the shore is to meet, miss what god has planned for the soul of man don't stand on the shore calculating she says take the plunge and then she says well if you take the plunge you may break your head <laughs> yes it may you may break your head so then then stay on the shore now man cannot stay forever on the shore this is the catch in the puzzle he will be pushed by the evolutionary force in one way or the other and this is the very interesting observation which amrit da once made he says that you have to either move forward or backward there is no second way and while there are ages of mankind when you can stay static because it's the time when nature is consolidating the gains of a species but there are times when it is taking the leap now when it is taking the leap then you either leap forward or you fall backward there is no second option left for you so if you stand on the shore it's not going to be safe forever so what happens when you jump into the sea not knowing what may happen that's why we need trust and faith in the grace because then you have to understand the sea despite its waves that swell it may look frightening but who is in the heart of the sea it is the divine mother so when one takes the plunge into the yoga if you calculate mother please give me a, in writing a contract i'll never have this 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 is this who did this hiranyakashyap did this you are god no yes i am god brahma ji says okay i will never die is no that won't happen okay tell me this 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 is sign it i will not die of all these things yeah, okay signed prahlad did none of this kind but prahlad had another kind of contract that i'll call hari hari said yes i'll come when you call me as simple as that so there is in this yoga we can catch it by the right end and we can catch it by the wrong end this right end word is by shurabindo what is meant by catching the yoga is the right end by the right end depend on the mother mother you are there i have no capacity to even understand what mother and shurabindo have written but mother you are there with me she will give a smile mother be with me mother i'll plunge into the sea <laughs> you are there i don't know what will happen but i trust you are there she will say yes my child 
then when we take a plunge with faith in the grace so first thing is courage second is faith faith and courage are the two things yobinda says can save the soul alive even if all other powers are eclipsed so when we have faith we take a plunge faith opens the door and she supports us so why divine does it depend on our faith no the thing is when we have the faith we recognize the action because the divine action is not the way human beings want what is the way human beings want if you have a fever ma cure me so your fever was 100 after 2 hours it has become 102 so what happens what do human beings do oh i don't know maybe i am doing something wrong maybe a wrong technique maybe a wrong method or maybe i should call the doctor so you call the doctor but somebody endowed with faith says what i have prayed she knows if my fever has arisen she knows what is best for me it's very difficult to remain with that faith but somebody who has that faith that everything that may happen in my life keep on surrendering and giving to her offering to her and mother says people who do it yoga becomes so simple she has given this method in the agenda one of the places there was wonderful that uh, story of uh, who was this polish nurse janina strokas she writes in a letter i have understood what this yoga is about mother i have a headache i give it to you and it may sound simple but the moment you do it 100 demons will rise up they will come in the form of dreams they will come in the form of suggestions what suggestions unfit for yoga no no this not meant for you no you are a fallen all kinds of things will come keep on offering keep on offering it doesn't mean that i do anything which i want no you put your effort we do our effort which prepares us for the grace but in spite of all this the reliance has to be on grace and not just on personal effort personal effort dealing with nature which for millions trillions of years has been operating whom are we against not against a small little impulse we are against nature which has perfected a movement in matter matter is accepted certain movements as part of it it has perfected nerve device cells they will respond mechanically so now you have you want to change all that well the grace can do it why because nature has come out of the divine shakti it is a shadow of that so that light can take care of the shadow otherwise nature is formidable its movements are on what scale look at 10 minutes of tsunami and a whole village can be gutted wiped away a virus can paralyze the world this is nature leave aside what forces in nature everything nature even hostile forces divine forces all this thing comes under nature she is the shakti she is operative she is operative even in inside the great gods without whom even the gods will become powerless that's why because it's a yoga of change of nature a vedantic intellectual idea is not enough it is the divine shakti divine mother alone who can effectuate it so this reliance on the divine mother along with this courage this aspiration courage is one with aspiration meaning thereby i will go on i see that mountain top one day i will conquer it you know that wonderful story i was reading about the conquest of one of the mountains this man who would see it and just come back from afar what are you thinking he says i have to reach there that's my goal so for a long time he prepares practices fails several times avalanche has come so many things but with each of them see that's the difference between a person of aspiration and a person with who is with calculation when you are a man of aspiration then an avalanche comes and you are tumbled and you come down so what will the man of aspiration say oh there is something to learn he learns and climbs again but the other person he says oh my god i never knew this <laughs> this may happen to me and turns away so the third quality needed is or the fourth quality is endurance and perseverance she says endurance and faith are enough so these are things we have to pack in the bags and then if we look at life life is a preparation to give us these things if we can't even endure 
small little things, little aches and pains, when we take to yoga, when the pressure comes, sometimes the nerves will begin to crack. Literally, you'll experience physical pain all over the body. Because the nerves don't respond. It's like, you know, when we read, it, Mother speaks about hammering. It's like something which pulverizes. It's a concrete force. It's not something like, all inside, I had a very nice experience. She says it's very concrete. When the supramental force, she describes the experience, first enters into the head. Penetration of the supramental force is in the body. First time when she describes it. And then she says, the head was bursting. Because what it is doing? It is destroying the ego. And that's why in the beginning she had asked Shiva, Shiva said, how can I help? I won't take a human body, but tell me how to help. She said, destroy the physical ego. Shiva said, all right. <laughs> so the Tandav started and she goes to Sri and says, I'm having a funny feeling. All my cells are as if scattering. Sri says, no, not now. <laughs> because premature action. So head, it is very nice when we read, thy golden light came down into my brain. The grey rooms of my mind sun-touched became. A calm reply to wisdom's occult plane. A calm illumination and a flame. Very nice. And the light touches the brain. It will tear away. There is a line in Savitri. And all the tear, the grey inhibitions of my mind. All the grey inhibitions were torn away. Grey is actually grey matter but also ignorance. Ignorance is like a shield inside the cocoon. We are very comfortable people. Nice people, wonderful people. We are the best people in the world. And then suddenly the grey inhibitions are torn away. And you are face to face with an immense city. The mind can, mind can literally get disoriented. When you plunge into that sea and the ocean, one way when you will tumble, you won't know which is up, down, left, right. <laughs> like that little fish entering the ocean asks the big fish, tell me about the ocean. So the big fish says, well, you know, exactly. I can't really tell you about the ocean. But you are living here for so long. Yes, that's true. So tell me something about it, what you know. He says, all that I can say is the ocean is above me, the ocean is below me. The ocean is in front, the ocean is behind. The ocean is within and the ocean is without. But don't ask me about the ocean. <laughs> this is all I know. And what does Sri say? Surrounded by her presence, you can go safely on your path because it is hers. Surrounded. To learn, this is the right way of doing yoga. Nowadays, of course, people are having a lot of techniques. Even in integral yoga, there are gurus who are teaching how to meditate and all that. But this is the main thing of this yoga, the key. Surrounded by her presence. What do we need to be surrounded by her presence? Two things that go together. The grace of the Divine Mother and on your side an inner state made up of faith, sincerity and surrender. And then he says, what should be the faith? Not an ego-tainted faith. Ego-tainted faith, I have faith in you. Mother, I am just about to get the next promotion. Please, help me. She says, it's a low and smoke-obscured flame that cannot burn upward to heaven. If we want to use the divine as a cloak to satisfy our desires and fulfill our ambitions, divine will say, excuse me, sorry, you need something much later, lesser. Maybe a god will do. Don't ask for the yoga of transformation. So, faith which is not tainted by any ambition, which is ready to undergo anything, that is the faith which is required. And then, the fourth quality is sincerity. So, what is this sincerity? Sincerity, she says, is transparency. Yesterday, somebody had very nicely sent a nice quote and asked what is its meaning. Honesty is the indispensable basis of this yoga. With human beings, one knows, you know, okay, people are dishonest, she says, but to be dishonest with the divine is foolish. What does dishonesty mean? What is honesty? Honesty is to acknowledge things as they are. Mental honesty. She says, this is the first indispensable step towards sincerity. But we conveniently give a nice excuse. I am so nice, you see Lord, why so and so behaved like this with me? Such a bad person. 
anyways i am there lord will say go back come back again then you look inside it doesn't matter what the other person may have behaved rudely but that's not the relevant point you are not doing yoga for somebody else but for yourself look inside that little vibration she gives a very nice example she says look inside you will discover it like a little worm inside like a little worm hiding coiled up inside the fruit it looks like a seed but it's not a seed or it's a seed which can grow into a tree it says you pluck it out and like with a pincer it'll hurt because it's clinging no 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 please let me be here then you throw it and then she says what will happen it will come back again <laughs> and again and again and again she says you can you you need to do it thousand times maybe 10000 times without using covers and cloaks without saying i give up with complete trust that she will one day do it for you she is doing it even that little bit so with that spirit one approaches and sincerity is to tell the mother everything sincerity and honesty they have nothing to do with human beings it's good to be honest and truthful but human beings being human beings with their own understanding but before the divine never hide anything we may wear very nice clothes like on darshan days today is pink days pink clothes psychic day or white clothes purity <laughs> No, no. I mean, it's good. I also wear. I don't know which one I am wearing today. <laughs> Pink one. <laughs> Divine is okay. Good thing, but he's not going to be impressed at all. Oh, oh, he is coming white clothes. Wow. He will immediately see inside the heart. Golden day people wear a golden dress. As if it becomes supramental. He. What was uh, Duman Bhai? he would whatever dress he is working he'll just go rushing why because he wants to work so not that there is anything wrong wear nice dresses nothing wrong with that but when you come to the divine know that nothing can remain hidden there is a line of shervindor nothing is hid from my burning heart go and tell him without shame just like gopis if you want to keep the cloth of virtue and it may look very simple but we as human beings have such a inveterable habit of deceiving ourselves that we end up deceiving the divine also mother see i am such a nice and it is it's not easy i am i can narrate you know once long long back 30 years back some experience and i just turned to the yoga and i thought that somebody is mistake not mine so i wrote a long letter almost 30 page letter all my feelings poured out to the mother and i remember in that while writing i am crying my tears are falling on that page and i think that mother will understand me which she will she does <laughs> but she also made me understand that what you are writing is all right but it is still not the correct vision the beauty was when i finished it i realized that no this is not it but when i wrote it i thought i am completely sincere about what i am writing 30 years maybe little longer just i turned to the yoga and i had heard you connect to the mother and this how it started so in all through that writing i was so convinced that what i am writing is true till she showed me that no it's i understand your pain but see also what is true and then when you see truth it can be very uncomfortable this is between you and the divine mother it's, it's not something which has to be advertised or told to people see i am the moment you say i am sincere that means gone the first sign of sincerity is to recognize that i am insincere and not to say proudly what can i do i am insincere one of the forms that insincerity takes is this nature i can't help it this my nature if it is your nature then this yoga is not meant for you we are here to change nature it may be our nature actually it is not our nature when we first experience of yoga is to separate and see this is universal nature it's not me or you it's nobody's nature is nobody's we like pick up some fruits from the market we come home and now these fruits are with us and we discover oh the apples were all rotten but now whose apples are they 
my apples. So you don't want to throw them. You want to keep them. They are going to rot. <laughs> but you will keep them. Why? Because my apples after all. But when we begin to look inside and discover, then we discover it's not my nature, your nature. It is nature. So that's why it's important to have that vantage point. Then it becomes easy to surrender also. Which is the final thing when we undertake this adventure. So what is it? That what really is meant by surrender? She says there is something required before surrender. Which we don't uh, often do it. What do we surrender? We go and say, Mother, I am surrendering. She says, what, what are you surrendering? Mother, I am surrendering my thoughts. What are your thoughts? I don't know, Mother, something comes in my head, I am surrendering. No, that's not surrender. She says, anyways, it is not belonging to you. Surrender starts after we have individualized. When we can say, this is me. This is a construct of the ego. I think like this. I feel this way. So with the help of will and the highest idea that is accessible to us, we do the task of individualization, which means we have learned to make choices. But in ignorance, we make choices based on preferences. Then we begin to make choices based on the highest mental ideal that we can conceive. This is how individuality is formed. I may have a mental ideal that this is highest. And then I conceive and create a synthesis. Now I take it and give it to her. That well, this is what I am. A bundle of things. Change me. Then she will begin to change. But we can't just leave it vague and say I am surrendering. We are moved by... All kinds of feelings from morning till night. So we are in a, in a mess or a mass, whatever we want to put it. It's like somebody drowning in the sea and saying, I am surrendering the sea to you. <laughs> you don't even. <laughs> so out of the sea, you take it in a bottle and say, this is my sea. Now this, you, you know, this practice yesterday was or today's Chhat Puja, no? So what do they do? It's very interesting. They pray to the sun. So women will keep fast for one and a half days or three. Some keep for three days. Is really, for one and a half days there is no water and no food. And then they will go, they will pray to whom? Sun deity, sun. For the well-being of the family and all that. And then they will go into the water, pick up water in a, their hands. And then they will offer it to the sun. So some people will ask, why are you doing this practice? Will this water reach? This one, this question has already been answered by other mystics. Will this water reach? But more importantly, the gesture is very symbolic. They are not standing and saying that I am offering to you. No, when you do this gesture, what you are doing? Out of the ocean or river of universal nature, you pick up certain elements and say, this is mine. This is me. And then you offer it. You can't say, Lord Sun, see that lady is doing this, uh, putting water, please accept it as mine. He'll say, no, no, that is her, <laughs> her, her water. Where is your water? So this is an act of individualization. Then we <coughs> put it into the offering. And <coughs> this is called surrender. So when we are armed with these things, when we have packed these things in our bag, then we are ready for the great adventure. Otherwise, adventure is an adventure. It can misfire. So it is not like under vital enthusiasm, I'll take the yoga or because I have read a lot and I have realized, oh, supramental being, wonderful, under stress of ego, I'll be superhuman, most dangerous. Because if one approaches the divine with the ego that I'll become superman, then first thing you'll discover is that you have become intrahuman. Then you start. Because the divine will show us where we are. A journey will begin there. And each part, what happens when we surrender? She says, true surrender, she says, people are afraid of surrender. Why? Because they think that if I surrender, I'll be no more myself and, you know, I'll lose things. She says, no. The divine touch, the true surrender enlarges you, it aggrandizes you. Then she says it fully that... Whatever is capable in you of being raised up, the divine will take it and raise it to the divine heights. But there are things which you think that are great, but they are not so great, that you stand to lose. And then she gives example. Some people may have a capacity, let's say they, 
write something and they think they are very good writers, you may lose it. Because it's really coming all from the vital world. But something which is true, genuine, capable of being uplifted, because the divine will never... So we may carry an illusion that we are great people, but when we come there, only truth, she is moved by truth, she will accept us. Then we may think, oh, this is pearl, no, I have given to mother, she will pick it and throw it aside. What mother? This is not pearl, you are fooling yourself. Oh my God, such a precious thing gone. Another thing which we thought is just an ordinary stone, she will see and keep it. Mother, this is ordinary. No, no, no. This is the gem. So what are you going to do, mother? I am going to bring out the little diamond hidden inside it. Oh, mother, this is diamond inside. Yes, my child, wait. And then she'll start working on this. So what we thought was pearl was thrown away. What we thought was stone was a gem. So surrender means that. Then we don't question why this, what that. Surrender means whatever now comes from you. And surrender is not like I hold back some things and I surrender few things. Everything. It is to give it to her. Of course the perfect surrender is when I obey the divine will completely. But till then I give it to Yoma. And then she begins to shape and reshape. Certain things she will keep with you. And change them for better. Certain, certain things will go away from you. Now that's when the surrender is tested. But mother, this was so important to me. Yes, my child, but it is harmful for you. It is no more part of the new creation. So it will go away. And something else which is important will be uplifted. So this is the way the divine grace will work. So sum and substance of it is that, well, this is a new yoga. It is the action of the supramental upon the mind, life, body and that's why as I said in the beginning the ashram was formed so that they see they could have easily gone but they wanted to see how humanity reacts to it so they were picked up a sample of humanity on whom they were putting the greater force the supramental but mostly the overmental force should be the head they both had the supramental force with them but they didn't want to use it openly because it can have disastrous consequences. So they were using the over mental force and seeing how humanity reacts. Some people were ready, the greater touch. And we know how they reacted, even the best of humanity. Doubts, distress. Some suddenly, you know, were uplifted. I mean, have we ever seen, we have heard stories of Bhakta. Ever read the story of Amrita, you will understand what Bhakti is. We have seen, read stories of Hanuman, read the story of Champaklalji, Pranabda, then you understand, you know, what is service to the divine. We, we have heard about Gyan Yogis and they will tell you Gyan Yogis and he is Samadhist and he will tell you some technique or method, I am that, concentrate on I. But look at men like Nalini and we will understand what is Gyan Yoga. Many folded knowledge flowing like streams. So, this is a yoga where all the divine Shakti acts upon the individual. It's only after they had seen in the sample, okay, each was a representative. Then, 1956 it manifested. Since then, the yoga has become generalized. But the spirit of adventure is there. In the sense, they will always be, as we move through the yoga, many unexpected things. But if we have these things in our backpack, when something unexpected happens, take out endurance, put it. Take out faith, put it there. Surrender, master key. Sincerity, don't cover up and hide. And then everything will go wonderful and she will shape us. And it's not a one life journey. So people often are so much taken away. Oh, he had this disease, he died. Death is not new to this planet, by the way. And conquest of death is not going to take place in one lifetime. Sri has said it. Mother has said, thousand years. She says, even that people found very disconcerting. Imagine, millions of years we have been roaming like fools. At least last two thousand years we are just saying this world is illusion and roaming around. What is there? Thousand years when the bodily life will be transformed. 
Then she says, Sri Aurobindo said, at least 300 years for the supramental being. Isn't that a very short time? 300 years? 50 years are already over, by the way. 250 years. Who knows? More shortened. Who knows? Round the corner. As Nalinda said, Superman may be just round the corner. He may be your next door neighbor. He is not going to declare, oh, I am Superman. His hairs will be some, you know, green color and he will suddenly have a, you know, antenna on the head. Nothing like that. He will look like a regular guy next door. But he will be the Superman because he will have a different consciousness. Benevolent, vast, signs of a Superman, compassionate. So, this is how the yoga, she says, is going at a lightning speed. And we cannot afford to be laggards on the way. So, she invites us to this wonderful adventure. And we have a choice to take the plunge or to linger on the shore and be one day washed away by the giant tide which may come any time. So, let me read something from this from the mother. <coughs> or before that, let me read this poem of Sri written in the jail. People want to come to yoga, they want a comfortable life, they want... Uh, she actually keeps us in lot more comfort than we can imagine. Sri says this ashram is <laughs> a little modern ashram. <laughs> then he gives an example in olden times, how people used to live in monasteries. Read the life of Swami Vivekananda. When now we have Bilur Mat and you go there. You know when they went to live there, what was it like? It was literally a jungle and cobras were there. And there they would sleep. They never complained. <laughs> so, so, this is a much better ashram. The Divine Mother looks after. Still, there is that aspect of the adventure. With wind and the weather beating round me, all the forces will rebel. Up to the hill and the moorland I go. Who will come with me? Who will climb with me? Wade through the brook and tramp through the snow. Spirit of adventure. You can't say, Sir, I have read the life divine. May I be admitted to the elite? You'll say, first you tell me, have you fought a war? <laughs> or have you played football and lost a game and yet bounced back and said, I will play it again? Have you fallen down from a height and said, I will get up and conquer it again? Swami Vivekananda used to say that, no? That instead of giving them the Gita, Teach them to play football. They must have nerves of steel. The will of steel. So he is telling us what is the qualification for the yoga. This is the qualification. Not in the petty circle of cities. If you are comfortable with that life where you know you have the debit card and credit card going around, then this is okay. Be happy. You can always be a devotee. Divine Mother will ensure. Dhan dhanya se ghar bhara rahega. <laughs> No, no, even otherwise she will look after. But in yoga you have to be prepared. Next moment, she says, ideal sadhak in this yoga is someone, as Shubhinda says, who is ready to enjoy everything that the divine gives. But is ready to leave it the next moment, if so be the will. Both aspects with regard to money. And she says, when you come to yoga, you must be willing to leave behind everything and hold, hang with a slender thread of faith. Your country, your religion, your everything lies there, the divine. All ideologies, left, right, center, if you want to keep the ideology, stay away from yoga. Exhaust your political impulsions and compulsions and obsessions. Stay there. This is not to say that one should not be interested in what's happening in the country. Yes, but not party politics. It's wonderful, you should know, you should see which party is going which way and what is happening. It's an overview, it's alright, but to be obsessed with that and to enter into an ideological war or a religious tendency, then one is your country, your religion, your ideal lies here, your family lies here, the divine. Not in the petty circle of cities, crammed by your doors and your walls I dwell, this is the comfort zone. Over me, God is blowing the welkin, against me the wind and the storm rebel. What a joy it is. Look at it, tonic to the soul. What is it sitting inside and, oh my God, it's 
trembling out there. Oh, the doors are shaking. What is there? Step out. Face the adventure of the ineffable. That's the joy. That is, you know, uh, everybody, I mean, I, the mysticism even otherwise, what Kabir says, he says that, I am standing in the market calling people <laughs> to enroll and list. So who will enroll and enlist? He says, Kabira khada bajar mein liye lukata haath, jo ghar phuke aapna chale hamare saath. Are you ready to <laughs> burn your house, burn your boat, burn your bridges and say I have come to you. I don't have a house, I don't have anything. This doesn't mean actually physically doing it, but inwardly. It, the divine may keep you, fine. But the divine may take it away from you, fine. So he says, <clears throat> Over me, God is blowing the welkin. What a wonderful, you know, you, he takes away these small things, but he gives you a much vaster house. You know, one of the things in ashram, when people come, so somebody asked, that you know, how is it? Oh, mother has given us a very many mansioned house. Achha? Oh, you know, we have a huge, I have a huge dining space where 2000 people can eat at one time. Is it? You have such a big house? Yes, palatial. I have an Olympic sized swimming pool, <laughs> a gymnasium, library. Oh my God, you are living in such a huge house. Isn't it that in ashram you get one room? No, no, that is only my little bedroom. Isn't it true? But this is the ashram. So we can look at it like this, that oh, what is it? How they are, people are staying. But look at it in another way. You have a dining room where 2,000 people can eat. <laughs> Even a Raja will not have it. So above me, God is blue in the welkin. Against me, the storm, wind and the storm rebel. Take it like a tonic. Let it rebel. I'll move on. There is a joy in that. I sport with solitude here in my regions. I don't have a friend. Ah, the Lord is there with me. I have many friends. Oh, the Lord has come in so many ways to meet me. That should be the spirit. If I am alone, so wonderful. Mother, thank you for giving me this opportunity to just be with you. If I have many people in my life surrounding me, Mother, so many forms you have come to me. So it's so wonderful. I sport with solitude here in my regions of misadventure have made me a friend. <laughs> so when you fall, misadventure, when it hurts you, then, are no problem. Short time, I'll recover and I'll come back fast. You know, you should see, I've been in uh, Air Force, I've met army people and I know what this spirit is. You take such a joy and pride in it. You don't want to, you know, this, we had this in high altitude where uh, I had the opportunity to be there on the base of Siachin for some time. So when a Gurkha came and said that I have headache, then we never took it lightly. It was like, you know, send him to some nearest hospital for a proper checkup. And he'll say, Sab, Sab, I am fine. Why are you doing all this? Because you know a Gurkha will never ever complain till he is really on the deathbed. <laughs> if he says headache, take it seriously. Because next question you ask, any other problem? No sir, sab theek hai. And you will be so convinced, people have actually lost lives because the doctors didn't know this psychology. Because he is like that. So that's the nerves of steel. Where you, you say, of misadventure have made me a friend. And it's so that spirit of adventure. When the Jawan says, Sir, I will go in front. And the officer says, No, I'll go in front. You know this is dangerous. And they want to go in front. Of misadventure have made me a friend. Who would live largely? Who would live freely? This is freedom. Not freedom that oh, I can buy anything and I can. This is not freedom. You are trapped. This is freedom, to live even with, without a penny in your pocket and don't feel a need. This is freedom. This is freedom, to have millions in your bank and yet not feel that I must spend it recklessly. This is freedom. So, here to the wind swept uplands ascend. Come. You are ready for all this? <laughs> Come. Uplands. Don't stay down on, you know, safe zone. 
So I am the Lord of tempest and mountain. Then you will discover this mountain, this storm is none else but I. I am the Lord. I rule over it. I am the Lord of tempest and mountain. There are many aspects in it which I am not going into because paucity of time. This poem is wonderful. We'll take it in detail some other time. I am the spirit of freedom and pride. And the mother says, if a tall man should have legitimate pride, it is only that he can be a master of nature. Then you can be proud. The time call it choice. That's called legitimate pride. I am the spirit of freedom and pride. Not that pride which has been given to you because of some outer thing. I am sitting in a chair, therefore I am proud. It means nothing. Stark must he be and a kinsman to danger who shares my kingdom and walks at my side. Everybody wants to be close to the divine. But we don't want Kurukshetra. <laughs> we want, I want to be close to the divine but only in Vrindavan. Dance with the divine. That's why you see, you must have seen all temples of Krishna. I think there is only one temple where Sri Krishna and Arjuna are there, isn't it? Let's check and let me know. Everywhere you will have Krishna Radha, Krishna Radha Leela, Garba dance, everything, nothing against it. Why? But who is really, whose name is taken with Krishna? One is Radha, but Radha is Radha, that utter surrender. They say she didn't exist like that. Utter abandon. And the other is Arjuna. Because Arjuna stands with Krishna. And is ready to go through the battlefield. That's what Sri says. There are two who are closest to the divine. Whom, which the divine, whom the divine loves. One who sweeps his temple floors in silent adoration. And the other who are ready to fight with him in the great battlefield of life. For the divine consummation of humanity. Stark must he be. Imagine, you know. We have lost all this. Where is Mahabharata? That Arjuna. Stark must be. You know, that was India in its heydays. Not about Vedanta philosophy, all this is fine. People discussing and debating. This is not true India. India is that Bhishma who will master death. Arjuna who says, I'll fight this. Abhimanyu dares death. Shri Krishna in the midst of everything. King Janak ruling over the kingdom. That is the ideal to be presented before man. Stark must be and a king's man to kinsman to danger. <laughs> kinsman who shares my kingdom and walks at my side and let me close with this mother says much later I invite you to the great adventure invite see she is also inviting Shubhinda is inviting the adventure but she is putting it in a very beautiful way more practical way it is not a question of repeating spiritually what others have done before us for our adventure begins beyond that. If you want so many malas, so many japas, so many... Shubhinda says that. Other paths are like this. Artificial canals where you have so many pranayamas, so many japas, so many uh, hours of meditation, that's it. She says, all that if you want to do, be there. Some technique you have learnt and two hours you do it, fine, you will feel good. You will get a lot of energy and all that. But that's not what this yoga is about. Our adventure begins beyond that. It is a question of a new creation. The human beings must change into a divine humanity. Entirely new. With all the unforeseen events, the risks, the hazards, it entails. A real adventure. You see, when humanity broke free from the animal, ape, wasn't it an adventure? Living in caves? Nothing is there. No light, nothing. They had just learnt fire with which they kept away the animals still, so much would have happened. But that humanity took the adventure and today, that's what they are. We are. So similarly, it's an adventure. Now the superhumanity has started. We don't know who is in the bus and who is out of the bus, but started. And this superhumanity may look like humanity, may have even looks less because it will lose the faculties. Mother says that it may even lose the faculty of reasoning because intuition will begin to dawn. Just like man lost the ability of the animal's vitality. So it may even look for a moment as if this is something like Sugriv instead of Bali. But it is marked out for the future. It may even look weird, abnormal. Oh, these people, they are practicing yoga. None of them looks normal to me. Yes, we are not normal. 
because we are in the road to supernormality. So this is how, this is the adventures. He says, unforeseen things. But, she says, whose goal is certain victory. The day man came upon earth, Mission Mangal was already decided. And the same human beings, through process of evolution, the soul comes in new bodies. No, it's not like, oh, what about that humanity? The same human being kept improving and today somebody is thinking about going beyond human. But the road to which is unknown and must be traced out step by step in the unexplored. Why? Because it has never happened. When new human being came, nobody knew what is going to, how it will shape itself. But it was there in the midst. Something that has never been in this present universe and that will never be again in the same way. If that interests you, well, let us embark. What will happen to you tomorrow? I have no idea. <laughs> Look at the spirit of adventure. Meaning thereby, don't tell me later on that, you know, I gave you a promise that you won't have this disease, I, you won't have that. What I have promised you stands. That promise is the supramental transformation, the victory of divine love upon matter, that I am promising you. And through all this, I will carry you. But don't say outwardly, everything will be secured. It may be, it may not be. It's okay. Because that's how the working will go on. But what is secure? She has said, the goal is certain. <clears throat> One must put aside all that has been foreseen. It is not about becoming saint, sage, seer, all that is old format. The superman will be much greater, something much different. All that has been devised, all that has been constructed and then set off walking into the unknown and come what may. This is the spirit. So let us embark on this great adventure. I am sure we all have embarked. So bon voyage, happy journey. Mother is with us, all of us and therefore what does it matter? Regardless of whatever may happen, the journey will always be delightful because the companion is delightful. Namaste. Adharaniya, Bhonimani Abhang Sadhya Bhaimani, Sri Aurobindo Sanskruti Sanshattara Puru, Anushtita Hithiwa, Nikhila Utkala Sri Aurobindo Parchaka Samrendra Aji Pratham Adhivishan, एवं यहाँ उद्घाटन के रूपे डॉक्टर आलोक पांडे चमत्कार बक्ता बेरोकी सर्चन्ती विषय दिखला दी एडवेंचर ऑफ़ ए न्यू वर्ल्ड दी एडवेंचर ऑफ़ ए न्यू वर्ल्ड एवं सही संपर्क करे आलोचना करिए आपने मध्यम मते दायित्व दिया जाएगी स्वाभाविक भावरे अपमन समस्त डॉक्टर आलोक पांडे को थरू सुन चला परे मु से संपर्क करे अपमन को संतुष्ट कला भरी मु निजर संधाय हो ची तथा भी मु निजे मनुरु किच्छ भी नौ कही के बड़ो मां कर बाणी रु किच्छ उल्लेख करी अपन पक्ष आलोचना करे उच्च स्टेक करो ची बोल विश्वास अपनों किसी ना किसी चीज़ संतुष्ट है भाई भाई बोलिए मैंने न्यू वर्ल्ड संपर्क करे 1914 एवं 1915 दी टाबानी हमें समस्त जानी चुमा करो समानता बहुत केवल बैकग्राउंड का तो परिवर्तन की चीज़ है उन्हें इस चौदह सितंबर पच्चीस से मां बनी जल्ले जेते वाले श्रवणजो को सक्षेत को सरला पड़े फिर तेरे बनी जल्ले लॉर्ड दासल विल and I shall execute. A new light shall break upon the earth. A new world will be born. 
and things that are promised shall be fulfilled. हे प्रभु आपण सिद्धांत नेबे एवं मु तो कार्यकारी करिबे एवं नूतन जगत पृथ्वी रे जन्म नबो जहा जहा सु प्रतिश्रुति दिया जाय छि से सु पूर्ण हेबो 1914 रो एई बाणी को से पूर्ण दोहरेले 1956 रे फेब्रुअरी 29 1956 के जो आध्यात्मिक जगत रे को ऐतिहासिक सिद्धांत जहा सुपरमेंटल कॉन्शियसनेस रो पृथ्वी पृष्ठ रे अवतरण एवं प्रतिष्ठा अतिमानस चेतना से बाणी की सेवन को मां कर से बाणी की मां निजे पुनी तको परिवर्तन कर ले लॉर्ड दाउ हास्ट विल and i dost execute a new light breaks up on the earth a new world is born and the things that were promised are fulfilled jaha jaha setebele pratishruti diya jai chala se su purana kar diya gala ek nutana jagat prithibire janma labh kala a new world is born ए कथा जते बेले कहले तार वर्षक परे 1957 नोभेम्बर इशु रे बुलेटिन रे माउटे आर्टिकल लेख चले से आर्टिकल नाउ दि ट्रू एडवेंचर प्रकृत दुसाहसिक कार्य से जगह रे मा उल्लेख करथिले व्हेन आई अनाउंस टू यू दि मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ दि सुपरमेंटल कॉन्शियसनेस एंड लाइट एंड फोर्स I should have added that it was an event forerunner of the birth of a new world. Gotta be some more detail. Supermental consciousness, light, and force. Jo, puchhu re pratishti to hala. Abhutaran kala pratishti to hala. Se tere mu kahiwa uchi thala. Je aha uchi nutana jagatara purbo padakhe forerunner. Se agur aasi ke announce kar dale. Ebang नूतन जगत सृष्टि हो तो जने की प्रश्न करता माउ प्रश्न करले जदि ता हुए त 1956 मसीह रे 29 फेब्रुअरी 1956 रे आपन जो अतिमान चेतना कथा घोषणा करले ता पर को दिन नूतन जगत सृष्टि हला को दिन नूतन जदि एटा फोर रनर हला आ परे आसिया पे घोषणा करले को दिन हला मा कहले हाफ एन आवर लेटर तार अध घंटा है परे हाफ एन आवर लेटर गोटे नूतन जगत सृष्टि हो पृथ्वी रे गोटे नूतन जगत सृष्टि हला काई कोन किछि तो काई सूचना नहीं कोन जगह रे किछि भी सूचना नहीं नया जगत रे आम सब नूतन कथा कि कहले आम नूतन मान के कौन आम भितर गोटे आलोड़न आसे नू 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 नूआ जगत सृष्टि है कि जना पड़े माँ गोटे मेसेज अच्छी दि ग्रेटेस्ट भिक्ट्रीज आर द लिस्ट नएजी दि ग्रेटेस्ट भिक्ट्री आर द लिस्ट नएजी सबुठ बड़ बड़ विजय संपूर्ण कोलाहल शून्य भाव हुए दि ग्रेटेस्ट भिक्ट्रीज सबुठ बड़ विजय संपूर्ण कोलाहल शून्य लिस्ट नएजी आदू कोलाहल नहीं शब्द नहीं द मानिफेस्टेसन अफ ए न्यू वर्ल्ड इज नट प्रोक्लेमड बै बीट अफ ड्रम्स नूतन जगत जो सृष्टि है तार जो घोषणा से ड्रम बीटिंग कहुए नहीं आम पे दिन ड्रम बीटिंग कर घोषणा करा गला मुझे जानी को मैंने से देखते ना डाकू तो डेंगुरा वाला कहूल डेंगुरा वाला आम सब नाटक सिनेमार देखु डेंगुरा वाला पुरातन सिने वाला कि आम निजे देखी चु पा दिन से आसब डुंग 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 बाड़ीदेव शुणु समस्ते बारवाटी स्टाडियम आज फुटबल मैच हे 
अमके संगे समके दीटा क्लब ना कह दब टिकेट मूल्य दुई जना ढड़ंग ढड़ंग कही चल जाव बीट अफ ड्रम्स गोटे फुटबल मैच घोषणा होट अफ ड्रम्स गोटे पिलार जन्मदिन पालन होते कोलाहल जी नहीं ना नुआ छुआटे जन्म ही तार एक पालन हो जन्मदिन पालन होते कोलाहल हो ना कि नूतन जगत जो सृष्टि है संपूर्ण कोलाहल शून्य कि कोलाहल ना गोटे आम अनुमान कर धरतु गोटे कढ़ा गोटे कढ़ को आम गोटे फुल परिणत करवा निजे आम जावतीय उद्यम चेषा कर रात को सका अंधकार को दूर कर सका आम उद्यम कि घन घोट अंधकार चली जा जगह सूर्यालोक चली आस कि गोटे तो कई ड्रम बिट कर रात गल सूर्य आसला सका सका कवित सब अच्छी रात पाए सका उठ उठ इत्यादि कवित सब है कि बास्तविक संपूर्ण नएजलेस गोटे कढ़ फुल फुटुची गोटे रात अंधकार रु आलोक को आसूची गोटे पिला धीरे धीरे बड़ हो जाऊपरतन होनेक कि कोलाहल नहीं से माँ कहले द ग्रेटेस्ट भिक्ट्रीज आर द लिस्ट नए जी सब बड़ बड़ विजय संपूर्ण कोलाहल शून्य तो न्यू वर्ल्ड संपर्क में आम कौन धारणा अच्छा मिनिंग अफ दि न्यू वर्ल्ड माँ कौन सुप्रामेटाल वर्ल्ड अलरेडी एक्जिस्ट सुप्रामेटाल वर्ल्ड अलरेडी एक्जिस्ट एवं आम जो वर्ल्ड में बास कर वर्ल्ड भी अलरेडी एक्जिस्ट द सुप्रामेटाल वर्ल्ड एक्जिस्ट परमानेंटली पुणी माँ सारे कहते हैं आई एम परमानेंटली इन ए सुप्रामेटाल बडी से जो सुप्रामेटाल वर्ल्ड में माँ निजे गोटे अतिमान शरीर अच्छा सुप्रामेटाल बडी प्रमाण कहले आई हाड दि प्रूफ अफ इट यही घटना गोटे प्रमाण आज अच्छी इवेन टुडे व्वेन माइ आर्थ कनसीयसने वेन्ट देयर एंड रिमेन देयर कनसीयसली विट्विन टू एंड थ्री ओ क्लक इन दि आफ्टरनून मुझे जो आर्थ कनसीयस अच्छी पृथ्वी चेतन अच्छी ये जाइली से अपराह दुईटा तीन टा घंटा से यहाँ हूँ उन्नीस अठावन मसीह फेब्रुआर तीन उन्नीस अठावन में माँ कौन मोर से अनुभव एवं अच्छी सुप्रामेटाल वर्ल्ड से सुप्रामेटाल वर्ल्ड अलरेडी एक्जिस्ट मुझे जा घंटा एक घंटा एक कटे आस दिन दुटा रू तीन टा ना आई नो दैट ह्वाट इज लैकिंग फर दि टू वर्ल्ड To unite in a constant and conscious relation. Jagata, atimanus jagata, and we are just jagata in a basic world. This jiza jagata in it, what a sampark, sego ta kahi nahi. It is lacking. Now I know what is lacking for the two worlds to unite in a constant and conscious relation. Constant and conscious relation. Sego jagata, atiman jagata, amu jagata. ये जगत गोटे स्थायी चिरंतन एवं सचेतन संपर्क स्थायी संपर्क चिरंतन संपर्क एवं सचेतन संपर्क ये गोटिक ही मिसिंग ये गोटिक ना ये गोटक ना इट इज एन इंटरमिडिएट जोन बिटवीन दि फिजिकाल वर्ल्ड आज इट इज एंड दि सुपरमेटाल वर्ल्ड आज इट इज गोटे इंटरमिडिएट जोन मध्यवर्ती कालीन गोटे स्थान व स्तर मध्यवर्ती कालीन स्तर गोटे अतिमानस जगत पृथ्वी आर मध्यवर्ती गोटाक कनसीयसली विट्विन टू एंड सरी विट्विन दि फिजिकाल वर्ल्ड आज इट इज एंड दि सुप्रामेटाल वर्ल्ड आज इज जमी अतिमान जगत अच्छी जमी साधारण जगत अच्छी तक भर गोटे संपर्क तापर कहते दिस् जोन रिमेन्स टू बी बिल्ट 
जदि आमको अतिमान जगत को पृथ्वी में उतारे आने पड़े तेल यवर्ती जो जगत यही जगतटा या पड़ो यगत मैं क्या सचेतन जगत हम एवं स्थायी जगत हम सचेतन एवं स्थायी जो स्तर हम मध्यवर्त कारण से हम गोटे कनसीयस एंड कनस्टाट जदि अतिमान जगत को आम पृथ्वी पृष्ठ को आने चाहू इंटरमिडिएट जोन टा या दरकार दिस् जोन रिमेन्स टू बी बिल्ड बोथ इन दि इंडिविजुआल कनसीयसने एंड दि अब्जेक्ट वर्ल्ड आज इट इज बिंग बिल्ड से हो ना प्रत्येक व्यक्ति इंडिविजुआल कनसीयसने आसो एवं पृथ्वी जो गढ़ाई पृथ्वी जो अलरेडी सृष्टि हो सारी से आसवा दरकार अतिमान जगतर जो संपर्क इंडिविजुअल मान भर इन इंडिविजुअल कनसीयसने व्यक्तिगत चेतन एवं द अब्जेक्टिव वर्ल्ड जो शक्ति जगत जो आम पाखे जो जगत बास कर जगत एज इट इज बिंग बिल्ट जो भाई भाव प्रस्तुत होती उभय सी जो बिल्ट हम जो मध्यवर्ती कालीन स्तर या तापर इंटरेस्टिंग कथा कहले व्वेन आई यूज टू स्पीक अफ दि न्यू वर्ल्ड ह्विच इज बी क्रिएटेड इट व्वाज अफ दिस् इंटरमिडिएट जोन दैट आई व्वाज स्पीकिंग दि न्यू वर्ल्ड इज बिल्ट जो कहले थिंग्स दैट आर प्रमिट सल वि फुलफिल ए न्यू वर्ल्ड इज बर्ण ए न्यू वर्ल्ड इज बर्ण जो कहले न्यू वर्ल्ड हूँ ए वर्ल्ड को वर्ल्ड ना अतिमान जगत एवं आम पृथ्वी मध्य जो इंटरमिडिएट जोन से गोटाक ही नुआ जगत से विषय मुझे तापर कहले सिमिलरली व्वेन आई एम ऑन दिस साइड दैट इज इन द फील्ड ऑफ़ द फिजिकल कॉन्शसनेस एंड आई सी द सुप्रामेंटल पावर द सुप्रामेंटल लाइट एंड सब्सटेंस कन्स्टाटली पेनिट्रेटिंग मैटर मा कह मुझे यही जगत अच्छी जो जगत पृथ्वी जगत में रोच आई एम ऑन दिस साइड इन द फिल्ड ऑफ़ द फिजिकल कनसीयसनेस यही पार्थिव जड़ जगत जड़ चेतन अच्छी आई सी दि सुप्रामेंटाल पावर अतिमान शक्ति दि सुप्रामेंटाल लाइट अतिमान आलोक एंड सब्सटेंस सुप्रामेंटाल प्रभु वस्तु सकल कन्स्टाटली पेनिट्रेटिंग मैटर ये जो जड़ जगत जो मैटर सब अच्छी जड़ अच्छी ता भर कन्स्टाटली पेनिट्रेट कर प्रवेश कर सब बड़े सब बड़े पेनिट्रेट कर इट इज दि कन्स्ट्रक्शन अफ दिस् जोन ह्विच आई सी एंड इन ह्विच आई पार्टीसीपेट यही गोटाक हूँ यही जड़ जो मिड इंटरमिडिएट जोन इंटरमिडिएट जोन ये हूँ प्रस्तुति कन्स्ट्रक्शन या मुझे पार्टीसीपेट कर अंशग्रहण कर बुझीला नूतन जगत कौन नूतन जगत हूँ अतिमान जगत यही जगत मध्य जो मध्यवर्त कारण जो अवस्था स्तर से जगत बर्तमान तैयारी चली कल से पार्टीसीपेट कर एवं ताक ही घोषणा करते न्यू वर्ल्ड इज बन कले हूँ से नूतन जगत तापर शिवबिंद कहते अरिजिन अफ दि न्यू वर्ल्ड कौन शिवबिंद कहते डिवैन वेर नट आट दि सेन्टर अफ दि एव्रीथिंग इफ दि डिवैन वेर नट आट दि सेन्टर अफ एव्रीथिंग हि कुड नेवर मानिफेस्ट इन दि वर्ल्ड जदि भगवान समूह भितर न छाते तेल पृथ्वी से प्रतिष्ठित ही पारे ना It is the same thing when he says that essentially, in its origin and deepest structure, origin, murata, even sabutharu gavirata ma abasthare, the creation is divine. A sushti huji, Bhagwan. The creation is divine. The world is divine. Jagat hi huji, Bhagwan. That is why this divinity will be able to manifest one day. Seethi pai hi. से ही जगत दिन ना दिन दिव्यत्व में परिणत हो इट इज इन ऑरिजिन डीपे स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज व्वाय दिस् डिनिटी विल बी एबल टू मैनिफेस्ट वन डे ये जो दिव्यत्व निजक प्रकाश कर प्रकाश कर Up to now, all that has manifested of this divinity is the world as we know it. Bhartman Purjanta jaha jaha divyato ek prakashite hi chhi. Ame ta kuch jam jani chhu. 
अब दिस डेफिनेटली इज दि वर्ल्ड आज वी नो इट आम जगत सम्भव सकल जगत को आम जेमी जाणीचु दिव्यतर प्रकाश जहाँ है आम धारा आम जीत बुझीचु से बट दि मानिफेस्टेसन इज बाउंडले कि भगवान प्रकाश प्रतिष्ठा सीमाहीन असीम एंड आफ्टर दिस मेन्टाल वर्ल्ड आज वी नो इट अफ विथ दि एपेक्स एंड प्रोटोटाइप इज मैन जो मेन्टाल वर्ल्ड आम बास कर सर्वोत्तम सामर्थ्य मनीष जीए अनादर रियालीटी ओल मेनिफेस्ट तापर आउ एक सत्य आउ गोटे वस्तु आउ गोटे अधिक एक सत्यतर चेतना रियालीटी बास्तवता सी मेनिफेस्ट कर जहाँ को सी अभिंद सुपर माइंड कहते एंड फॉर इट इज इन फैक्ट द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आफ्टर दि माइंड सो सीन फ्रॉम दि वर्ल्ड एज इट इज इट विल नैचुराली बी सुपरमेटाल दैट इज समथिंग अबव दि माइंड जमी पृथ्वी आम देखु ये पृथ्वी आ परवर्त अवस्था निश्चय सुपरमेटाल हे एवं मनर ता परवर्त स्तर परवर्त स्तर तापर माँ कह कहते बट आज आई टोल्ड यू टू विक्स ए गो दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड आज इट इज एक्चुअली भिजिबली इज इज सो पावरफुल सो एब्सल्युटली रियल फॉर द ऑर्डिनरी कॉन्शसनेस दैट इट हैज एन गॉड आज इट वेयर दिस सुपरामेंटल फोर्स एंड कॉन्शसनेस व्हेन इट मैनिफेस्टेड पृथ्वी अवस्था बर्तमान जहाँ माँ कौन पृथ्वी बर्तमान ये जो मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड ये जड़ जगत एभली अवस्था अच्छी भिजिबिली एत पावरफुल शक्तिशाली तुम से जहाँ जो ऑर्डिनरी कॉन्शसनेस तो अच्छी संपूर्ण भाव में गोटे अत्यंत ऑर्डिनरी चेतन अच्छी तेणु से कौन करुच्ची ना सुपरमेटाल फोर्स अफ कनसने जो मानिफेस्ट करा गिड़ी दूसरी एन गड ता क्या प्रवेश कर कारण से मानिफेस्ट कला बेलू ये इति व्यापक ही अच्छी से गिड़ी दूसरी एंड ए लंग प्रिपरेसन इज नेसेसरी बिफोर इट्स प्रेजेन्स क्या भी इविन ग्लीम्स माँ कौन तार जो प्रिपरेसन जो सुपरमेट प्रस्तुति की खाली जानवाप ग्लीप्स तार गोटे सूचना टी पाइप बहुत बेस प्रस्तुति दरकार इट्स क्या भी इविन ग्लीम्स फेल्ड और परसीवड अनुभव करवा देखा एवं तूचना पाइबा ये सबूप बहुत प्रस्तुति दरकार कारण बर्तमान पृथ्वी अवस्था जहाँ इन समय रेट एंड दिस इज दि वर्क इट इज डुई हिअर इट इज डुई हिअर नाउ से ही कार्य ही बर्तमान चली कह जो पार्टिसिपेट करीर अवस्था जहा पृथ्वी जो अवस्था से अवस्था भितर जहाँ भी नुआ जिनस गिड़ी पकाऊे भर भर्ती करदे तेनाली के प्रस्तुत हो पड़ो आर का हाउ लंग इट विल टेक् इट डिफिकल्ट टू फोर्स केतेदिन लगे केतेदिन लगे यहाँ यगर कह संभव नुहे इट विल डिपेंड ए ग्रेट डिल ऑन द गुडविल एंड द रिसेप्टिटी अफ ए सर्टेन नंबर अफ पीपल ये आसम दायित्व आम दायित्व आगे कि व्यक्ति सर्टेन पीपुल किसी व्यक्ति अंत ये प्रस्तुत है गोटे शुभेच्छा दरकार कहीं सब कहूँ समस्ते एक बड़े पारे नहीं सब मनुष्य एक बड़े अतिमान होगा संभव नु कि किसी व्यक्ति चाहिए इच्छा करे यही प्रकार कार्यर परिणाम ठारू अन्य एक भिन्न कार्य पृथ्वी हम हो चली अंशग्रहण करूँ से दरकार गुडविल एंड दि रिसेप्टिट अफ ए सर्टेन नंबर अफ पीपल बहुत बेस दरकार इट वी डिपेड ए ग्रेट डिल बहुत आवश्यक अच्छी किसी व्यक्ति शुभेच्छा दरकार ग्रहणशीलता दरकार किसी ग्रहण करे धर तो गोटे गोष्ठी गोटे गोष्ठी समस्ते निर्दिष्ट विषय जानते अधिक जानते अधिका जानते हैं व्यक्ति गोटे कि दुटा कि तीन चार्टा भी तभी से रही देते प्रभाव में धीरे धीरे प्रभावित हो किसी जानते से आटलिस्ट से निजे ग्रहणशील थे ये प्रवेश करेंगे धीरे धीरे 
ତାଙ୍କ ଭିତରେ ଗ୍ରହଣଶୀଳତା ଆସିଲେ ଅଫ୍ ଏ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଫର୍ ଦି ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ୍ ଅଲ୍ୱେଜ୍ ଆଡ଼ଭାନ୍ସେସ୍ ଫାଷ୍ଟର୍ ଦେନ୍ ଦି କାହିଁକି କୁହାହେଉଛି କାହିଁକି କୁହାହେଉଛି ଅଳ୍ପ କିଛି ଲୋକ କାରଣ ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ୍ ଅଲ୍ୱେଜ୍ ଆଡ଼ଭାନ୍ସେସ୍ ଫାଷ୍ଟର୍ ଦେନ୍ ଦି କଲେକ୍ଟିଭିଟି ବ୍ୟକ୍ତି ସାଧାରଣ ବ୍ୟକ୍ତି ସମୂହଠାରୁ ଶୀଘ୍ର ଶୀଘ୍ର ଅଗ୍ରଗତି କରେ ତା'ର ଅଗ୍ରଗତି ବେଶୀ ଅଧିକ ତୀବ୍ର ଫର ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ୍ ଅଲ୍ ଇଜ୍ ଆଡ଼ଭାନ୍ସ ଫାଷ୍ଟର ଦେନ୍ ଦି କଲେକ୍ଟିଭ୍ ଆଣ୍ଡ ବାଇ ଇଟ୍ସ ଭେରି ନେଚର ହ୍ୟୁମାନ ଇଟ୍ ଇଜ୍ ଡେଷ୍ଟିନ୍ ଟୁ ମ୍ୟାନିଫେଷ୍ଟ ଦ ସୁପର ମାଇଣ୍ଡ ବିଫୋର ଦି ରେଷ୍ଟ ଅଫ୍ କ୍ରିଏସନ୍ ଆଉ କୌଣସି ଜାଗାରେ ହଉ କି ନ ହଉ ହ୍ୟୁମାନିଟି ଭିତରେ ମଣିଷ ଜାତି ଭିତରେ ଇଟ୍ ଇଜ୍ ଡେଷ୍ଟିନ୍ ଏଇଟା ତା'ର ଭାଗ୍ୟରେ ବା ତା'ର ସିଦ୍ଧାନ୍ତରେ ଅଛି କ'ଣ ସିଦ୍ଧାନ୍ତରେ ନା ସୁପର ମାଇଣ୍ଡ ମ୍ୟାନିଫେଷ୍ଟ କରିବ ରେଷ୍ଟ ଅଫ୍ ଦି କ୍ରିଏସନ୍ ଆଗରୁ ସୃଷ୍ଟିର ଅନ୍ୟାନ୍ୟ ସବୁ ସ୍ଥାନ ଆଗରୁ ଆଗେ ମଣିଷମାନଙ୍କ ଉପରେ ହିଁ ଏଇଟା ପ୍ରତିଷ୍ଠିତ ହେବ ପ୍ରକାଶ ହେବ ଆର୍ ଦିଜ୍ ବେସିସ୍ ଅଫ୍ ଦିସ୍ କୋଲାବରେସନ୍ ଦେ ଇଜ୍ ନେସେସରିଲି ଦି ୱିଲ୍ ଟୁ ଚେଞ୍ଜ ତେଣୁ ଏଇ ଯେଉଁ ପରସ୍ପରର ସହଯୋଗ କୋଲାବରେସନ୍ର ବେସିସ୍ କ'ଣ ତା ମୂଳ କ'ଣ ମୂଳଦୁଆ କ'ଣ ନା ୱିଲ୍ ଟୁ ଚେଞ୍ଜ ୱିଲ୍ ଟୁ ଚେଞ୍ଜ ଆମ ଭିତରେ ଦରକାର ଆମେ ପରିବର୍ତ୍ତନ ହେବା ପାଇଁ ଚାହୁଁଛୁ ଇଚ୍ଛା କରୁଛୁ ନୋ ଲଙ୍ଗର ଟୁ ବି ହ୍ୱାଟ୍ ୱାନ୍ ଇଜ୍ ଯାହା ହେଇକି ଅଛୁ ଆଉ ସେମିତି ସବୁଦିନ ରହିବା ନାହିଁ ଫର ଥିଙ୍ଗସ୍ ଟୁ ବି ନୋ ଲଙ୍ଗର ହ୍ୱାଟ୍ ଦେ ଆର୍ କାରଣ ଯାହା ସବୁ ବସ୍ତୁ ସକାଳେ ଏପର୍ଯ୍ୟନ୍ତ ଯେମିତି ଅଛନ୍ତି ସେମିତି ନୁହଁନ୍ତି ସେମିତି ନାହାନ୍ତି ସେମାନେ ହ୍ୱାଟ୍ ଇଜ୍ ଇଣ୍ଡିସ୍ପେନ୍ସେବୁଲ୍ ଇନ୍ ଏଭ୍ରି କେସ୍ ଇଜ୍ ଦି ଆର୍ଡେଣ୍ଟ ୱିଲ୍ ଫର ପ୍ରୋଗ୍ରେସ୍ ସବୁ ଜାଗାରେ ଗୋଟାଏ ଅପରିହାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ବସ୍ତୁ ହେଉଛି ଆମର ଗୋଟେ ଆର୍ଡେଣ୍ଟ ୱିଲ୍ ଟୁ ପ୍ରୋଗ୍ରେସ୍ ଆମେ ଅଗ୍ରଗତି କରିବା ଯେଉଁମାନେ ଏଥିରେ ସମ୍ପୃକ୍ତ ଅଛୁ ଯେଉଁମାନେ ଚାହୁଁଛୁ ଯେଉଁମାନେ ସହଯୋଗ କରି ଇଚ୍ଛା କରୁଛୁ ତାଙ୍କ ମଧ୍ୟ ଅତ୍ୟନ୍ତ ପ୍ରବଳ ଇଚ୍ଛା ଶକ୍ତି ଥିବ ଅଗ୍ରଗତି କରିଥାନ୍ତି ଆର୍ଡେଣ୍ଟ ୱିଲ୍ ଟୁ ପ୍ରୋଗ୍ରେସ୍ ଦି ୱିଲିଂ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଜୟ ଫୁଲ୍ ରିନାଉନ୍ସିଏସନ୍ ଅଫ୍ ଅଲ୍ ଦ୍ୟାଟ୍ ହ୍ୟାମ୍ପର୍ସ ଦି ଆଡ଼ଭାନ୍ସ ତା'ପରେ ଆଡ଼ଭେଣ୍ଟ ଗୋଟେ ଆର୍ଡେଣ୍ଟ ୱିଲ୍ ଥିବ ପ୍ରୋଗ୍ରେସ୍ ପାଇଁ ଗୋଟେ ପ୍ରବଳ ଇଚ୍ଛା ଥିବ ତା'ପରେ ଦି ୱିଲିଂ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଜୟ ଫୁଲ୍ ରିନାଉନ୍ସିଏସନ୍ ଆମ ଭିତରେ ଯାହା ଯାହା ସେଇ ଅତିମାନ ଚେତନାକୁ ଏଠି ପ୍ରତିଷ୍ଠା କରିବା ପାଇଁ ଯାହା ଯାହା ବାଧା ସୃଷ୍ଟି କରୁଛୁ ଆମ ଭିତରେ ତାକୁ ଆଗ୍ରହର ସହିତ ଆନନ୍ଦର ସହିତ ତ୍ୟାଗ କରିବା ୱିଲିଂ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଜୟ ଫୁଲ୍ ରିନାଉନ୍ସିଏସନ୍ ଧରନ୍ତୁ ମୋର ଗୋଟେ ବହୁତ ଦିନ ସଉକ ଥିଲା ଟିକେ ଚା ଖାଇବା ପାଇଁ କୁହାଲା ନାହିଁ ଅତିମାନ ଶକ୍ତିର ଗୋଟେ ଉଦାହରଣ ଦେଉଛି ଅତିମାନ ଶକ୍ତିରେ ଯଦି ତା'ର ପ୍ରତିଷ୍ଠା ପାଇଁ ଯେଉଁମାନେ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟ କରି ସେମାନେ ଏଇ ଚା ଫା ଏସବୁ ଦରକାର ନାହିଁ ଆନନ୍ଦରେ ଖୁସିରେ ୱିଲିଙ୍ଗଲି ଖୁସିରେ ଏବଂ ଜୟଫୁଲି ଏ ଛାଡ଼ିଦେବା ଚାଟା ଗୋଟେ କ'ଣ ଅଛି ମୋର ଅତିମାନ ଶକ୍ତି ହବ ମୋ ଭିତରେ ଯେଉଁ ରାଗ ମୋ ଭିତରେ ଯେଉଁ ରୋଷ ଯେଉଁ କାମ ଯେଉଁ କ୍ରୋଧ ଯେଉଁ ପରସ୍ତିକାତରତା ଯେଉଁ ବିଷାଦ ଅବସାଦ ଭୟ ନିରୁତ୍ସାହତା ଏସବୁ ଅନେକ ଜିନିଷ ଅଛି ତାକୁ ଆନନ୍ଦରେ ସହ ଅତ୍ୟନ୍ତ ଖୁସିରେ ରିନାଉନ୍ସିଏସନ୍ ପରିତ୍ୟାଗ କରିବା ଦ୍ୟାଟ୍ ହ୍ୟାମ୍ପର୍ସ ଦି ଆଡ଼ଭାନ୍ସ ଆମ ଅଗ୍ରଗତିରେ ଯିଏ ବାଧା ସୃଷ୍ଟି କରିବ ସେସବୁକୁ ଖୁସିରେ ଏଇଟା ଚବଦସ୍ତ ସେଇଟା ଚମତ୍କାର ଶବ୍ଦ ୱିଲିଙ୍ଗଲି ଆଣ୍ଡ ଜୟଫୁଲି ଏଇଟା ମୁଁ ଛାଡ଼ି ପାରୁନଥିଲି ବହୁତ ଦିନ ଧରି ମୋର ସକାଳୁ ଉଠି ଗୋଟେ ଅଭ୍ୟାସ ମୁଁ ଗୋଟେ ଏତେ ସକାଳୁ ଉଠିପାରେ ନାହିଁ କୁହାଲା ନାହିଁ ଆଜ୍ଞା ସକାଳୁ ନ ଉଠିଲା ହେବନି ଠିକ୍ ଅଛି ଉଠିବା ବେଶୀ ରାତି ଯାଏ ବେଶୀ ରାତି ଯାଏ ଚାହିଁପାରିବେନି ଶୋଇ ବେଶୀ କର ଶୋଇ ପଡ଼ିବା ଦରକାର ଖୁସିରେ ଆନନ୍ଦରେ ଏଗୁଡ଼ା ସବୁ କିଛି ଆମକୁ କେହି ଜବରଦସ୍ତି କରିହେବନି ଟୁ ଥ୍ରୋ ଫାର୍ ଆୱେ ଫ୍ରମ୍ ୱାନ୍ ସେଲ୍ଫ ଏସବୁକୁ ଯିଏ ଆମ ହ୍ୟାମ୍ପର କରୁଛି ଆମ ଆଡ଼ଭାନ୍ସ ହ୍ୟାମ
अपरिहार्य से निश्चय हुई ची मस्ट नेसेसरीली कम एक केमिटे ले भी आशुची जी आशुची आमे ताजियों को जीवन पे समस्त किसी पस्तुत हुई ची नथिंग नोबडी नो बेड विल इवन दैट ऑफ नेचर कैन प्रिवेंट फ्रॉम बिकमिंग ए रियलिटी आम भी तेरे आम प्रकृति में जो नेचर भी बड़ा एन कराई ची ये जो प्रकृति संसार पर ये भी और कई परिवर्� आमे जो दिगर जिया पे सिद्धांत नहीं जो तब कौन सी मंदोई इच्छा है नो बडी नो बेड विल कौन सी मंदोई इच्छा है कैन प्रिवेंट फ्रॉम बिकमिंग ये रियलिटी से बास्तव आपने कई आम को सिद्धर बाधा दी पड़ी बनी तापर माँ को चुनती मॉडिस्वानों को कंडीशन नहीं को चुनती मॉडिस्वान को बस था कम पीपल स्लीप लोग they forget, forget all the time. Sabu bade bhul jau chundi. But if we could remember that we are at an exceptional hour, ma kele jadiya me smaran rakhi paron tu. Ma kimi kohu chundi kele? Ammo pahi maankara kon bhaakur ho ta? Ammo pahi maane samakara maana bhaja chi pahi. Tiki smaran rakhi ni, tiki bujji pari ma, tiki maane rakhi pari ma ni ame. But if you could remember that we are at an exceptional hour, अत्यंत कशोतम तो चमत्कार समय रहे मुझे exceptional hour, a unique time, एक अपुर बहानन ने समय रहे मुझे that we have this immense good fortune, ये जो अत्यंत चमत्कार सुंदर सौभाग्य बोले immense good fortune, this invaluable privilege of being present at the birth of a new world. उड़े नूतन जगत सृष्टि समय रे इधर अमूल्य है को सुजो प्रिविलेज इन भावलेबल तार कौन से मूल्य नहीं अमूल्य को सुजो कौन सुजो ना ये समय रे हमें उपस्थित हो बिंग प्रेजेंट ऑफ वार दी बार्थ पे न्यू वर्ल्ड नूतन जगत सृष्टि रे हमें उपस्थित हो चुके नूतन जगत सृष्टि हो ची से जगह में उपस्थित हो चुके that impedes and hinders our progress. Jadhyay maa kohi paranthu, jadhyay maa kata bhabhi paranthu, tal chaha jaha maa agra kate baadha dhu chhe. Se samashtu maa me nirdundhari, nirandhari, ta kwa me taudhi di paranthu, bidha kori paranthu aam bidha kori paranthu. Ta kwa me chadhi di paranthu. Teno, so the most important thing it seems, teno sabutha rugurta panna karjya, जा कथा इट्स अनुभव हो रिमेम्बर दिस फैक्ट ये कथा सब स्मरण रखा पड़े इवेन व्वेन वन डज नट हाव दि टांगेबुल एक्सपीरियस मोर कौन से अनुभव ना टांगेबुल एक्सपीरियस कि ना एमती आखि दृष्टि कौन से अनुभव न थी पारे न रो कि जाए नु हाव दि सर्टेन अफ इट एंड फेथ इन इट ता भर कौन निश्चितता ना विश्वास ना से सब किसी नहीं। To remember all ये सब नथिले मध्य हैं। To remember always, to recall it constantly। सब बड़े स्मरण रखो, सब बड़े डाकी चलो, डाकी चलो। Recall, मन रखो, सब बड़े मने पकाओ, मने पकाओ। Constantly, to go to sleep with this idea, to wake up with this perception। निदरे सुईयों को लापरेख को तो धर मने धारणा नहीं कि सुईवा। To wake up with this perception, इस धारणा नहीं कि पुन जागरूत हुआ, निदरूत हुआ। to all that one does with this great truth as the background. Jaha jaha ame kori hu, jaha ame kaam kori chu. To all that one does with this great truth as the background. Pacha patre, ta amo puro bhaagare, prushtha bhaagare, eha hi chi wo, ehi satya, ehi gunutana satya. Aja constant support, si amo pacha patu samarthan bas sahajurutu wo. This great truth that we are witnessing the birth of a new world. You dirat or satya. Birat or satya. Jame ko nuton jagat ku, nuton jagat or janmo ku, ame sakhi ho. Ame nije dekhi ho, ame anubhav kari ho. We can participate in it. Ame chere onse ghan kari pari ho. We can become this new world. Ame nuton jagat nije hi pari ho. And truly, when one has such a marvelous opportunity, Prakrutere jadi jana karai chamatkar anubhav thai, one should be ready to give up everything for its sake. Jadi ehi anubhav jana kar thai, 
वन शुड बी रेडी जब ये चमत्कार मार्बलस अपॉर्चुनिटी सुजोग जब जानो कर था है चमत्कार सुजोग जब था है समझते थे प्रस्तुत हुए तो कर वन शुड बी रेडी टू गिव अप एवरीथिंग फॉर इट्स सेक जहाँ जहाँ दरकर पड़े छाड़ दा पे छाड़ दी पाई उतार पे सब छाड़ दी पाई तापरे अमुक कितना सर्तो सारी बात अमुक कितना प्रैक्टिकल टिप्स फॉर साधना प्रैक्टिकल टिप्स कितना कौन कौन है मैं प्रैक्टिकल टिप्स है मैं नहीं परिवार द सुप्रीमेंटल इज नॉट ओनली ट्रूथ इटसेल्फ बट आल्सो द वेरी नेगेशन ऑफ फॉल्सुड ये ढाबे जो असल करता सुप्रीमेंटल के बड़े सत्य न हो शिवजी मिथ्या रो विरुद्ध नेगेशन ऑफ द फॉल्सुड मिथ्या विरुद्ध आमे जो जगत में बात कर चुके मिथ्या रो जगत अज्ञानता रो जगत अचेतना रो जगत एवं असत्य रो सबु अंधक अंधकार मिथ्याचार सबु ए जगत में बात कर चुके एवं सुप्रीमेंटल हो जी ठीक तरह विरोध ठीक उल्टा but also the very negation of falsehood the supramental will never come down settle and manifest in a consciousness harboring falsehood jodi mithyachar thibo jo jagare mithyachar sabudade thibo sei supramental kebe bi descend karibe nahi supramental kebe bi come down kebe tol gas paribe nahi settle down karibe nahi naturally the first condition for conquering falsehood is to stop telling lies sarta ashi gala sarta ashi gala gote pore gote sarta जदि तुम्हें सुप्रामेटाल को चाह दि फास्ट कंडीशन फॉर कंकरिंग फॉल्सुड मिथ्याचार उपर विजय लाभ करने पड़ो मिथ्याचार उपर विजय लाभ करने प्रथम सर्त हो मिछ कह छाड़ भाई भी मैंने आम सब कड़ाक कथा शुणुजे के आमको सर्त दिहुँ दिंतु मिछ कह छाड़ी पार कि नहीं छाड़ी पार नहीं सुप्रामेटाल कौन आस कता आम छाड़ी पार नहीं मिछ जो कौज आम छाड़ी पार नहीं आज्ञा एत सहज नुह सहज नुह आ सुप्रामेटाल सहज जदि आम मिछ न छाड़ा मिछ कह न छाड़ा तो फर्सुड रहा फर्सुड रोते अति मानस आसबना सीधा सीधा कथ तेणु मिछा चल मिछ कह छाड़ है प्रथम कथा है Stop telling lies. Though this is only a preliminary step, it is a final step. No, Micho ko yau chhadiya pein toh hala la prathami ko padha ke prathamo ko tha. An absolute integral sincerity must finally be established in the being. Amo satta bhi tere ko na sampurno punnanga antori ko tha ba sadha. Sesare nischa pratishti tha ba dhakka. In the being and all its movements. If the goal is at all to be attained, I'm a समस्त गति बुद्धि, दानन जन का जो समस्त गति बुद्धि सब जगह रे, वो डे absolute integral sincerity, पुण्यंग शंपूर्णो, आंतरिकता निश्चय establish हुआ था क्या? I'm a समग्र असुत्ता रे, जो ती ये मैं चाहूँ जो, जो लक्ष्य है आपसे तो पहुँच गया लक्ष्य तो अति मानस, तापरे condition सब दे दे। प्रथम खाली मिछ कह गोटे प्रिलिमिनारी आवश्यकता कहले के मिछ कह स्टप टेलींग लाइज तापर सर्त सब दे फास्ट इंडिस्पेन्सेबल कंडीशन टू प्रिपेयर आवर सेल्फ टू रिसीव दि न्यू कनसीयसनेस इज ए ट्रु एंड स्पोटेनिअस ह्यूमिलिटी ह्विच मेक्स अस फिल डीपली दैट वी नो नथिंग एंड आर नथिंग इन दि फेस अफ दि मार्बलस थिंगस वी हाव टू एक्वे गोटे विनम्रता That binamrata, true and spontaneous humility, basta ba ebang sota spurta binamrata. Mu kete binamra e binamrata no. Janchum kete binamra. Spontaneous binamrata. Sit me spontaneous ko hauchi. The first indispensable condition, apuri hajo sabto. To receive the new consciousness, nuton chetna u grahan kariya nimante is a true and spontaneous humility. Basta wo ebang swabhavi, swatasputta binamrata, which makes us feel deeply. Amamita se binamrata thela am kono kari pariyo? 
आम निजे अनुभव करेक्स अस फिल डीपली दैट वी नो नथिंग आम जो कि जाणी ना आम कि जाणी ना एंड आर नथिंग इन द फेस अफ दि मार्बल अफ थिंग्स वी हाव टू एक्वयर आम जो चमत्कार महान एक कि एक्वयर कर नो नथिंग वी आर नथिंग इन द फेस अफ दि मार्बल अफ थिंग आम कि जाणी नु वि नो नथिंग वी नो नथिंग एंड वी आर नथिंग आम बेले बेले एक्सट्रा शो कर सब पंडित लोक के छना भितर थी सब जानी ये कौन जान ये आस सवित्री पर मोटू भी जानी मुझे जहाँ जानी से जानी ये सब भितर गोटे छलना थे आम कहू कि स्वतस्फूर्त हो आस कौन जानी मो भर तो शून्य जहाँ को मो अपेक्षा कर डाक जहाँ को आसपार कर जानवाप आगे मो ज्ञान जीरो दि मोर यू नो दिट मोर यू फिल दैट यू डू नट नो माँ गोटे मेसेज अच्छी जिते अधिक तुम्हें जान से अधिक अनुभव कर वास्तविक अनुभव सेकेंड नो क्वार्स ए भेरी इंपोर्टां कंडीशन टू फुलफिल इन अर्डर टू फैसिलिटेट दि आडभेट अफ दि सुपरमेटाल गंडगोल कजिया झगड़ा द्वंद हम ना मारिदे मा गोटे तो अनुष्ठान आप बुलूँ ओडा जाक खोजी गोटे कौटी अनुष्ठान गंडगोल ना छोट मोट कि ना कि तो थी गंडगोल कर तो करू था यही जगत एमती रह गंडगोल सबुद कर गला संसार छाड़ कलह हेले सी आसवे ना द्वंद हेले आसवे ना असंगति हेले आसवे ना डिसारमोनी द्वंद कलह नो क्वार्स माँ कहले आम कौन प्रकार से भाव में संपर्क रही जदि सुपरामेटाल जदि कहीं आम कौच बुझ आम तो सुपरामेटाल आसना कम करने को आेणु आम भर क्वार हम ना क्वार जदि आम करूँ तो आम माँ के पाक आस नु आम कही दबू के उदाहरण दिए आश्रम करे कर अरे यदाहरण दाप भल कथ उदाहरण दाप ना भल भल जिन उदाहरण दब ना खाली दुर्बलता जहाँ गोटे देखने उदाहरण देद आम पाखे से अनुष्ठान दूसरे से कहे कहला अति मानस तुम्हें कार्य कर आडभेट अफ सुपरमेटाल अति मानसर अभिव्यक्ति प्रकाश पाए जो कार्य कर द्वंद रु मुक्त रो नो क्वाल्स ए वेरी इंपोर्टां कंडीशन भी कहले ड्रप अल फिअर अल स्ट्राइव अल क्वाल्स ओपन युअर आईज एंड युअर हार्टस समस्त भय समस्त द्वंद तुम आखि की तुम चक्ष को एवं हृदय को सब उन्मीलित कर रख दि ट्रु सुपरमेटाल फोर्स इज दे समस्त भय भितर चढ़ दि भाई भाई मैंने भय हूँ गोटे महान विपद आम पर भय टू मुक्त हो पार नहीं भय तो कौटी किए डोनेट करनी आम को कि आम डोनेट करनी कौट आम भर अच्छी आम ताक विदा कर माँ को गोटे कौट कहानी अच्छी डक्टर दलाल एवं लिखी थे गोटे मेसेज मुझे दलाल को मेसेज एक के दलाल एस ना सम एस दलाल गोटे मेसेज पढ़ु थी माँ लिखिंट मुझे कि निजे पढ़ी जो गोटे पांडेमिक कौट आसला गोटे एवं सी माँ ताक पचारे तू कज मारी कहला मुझे गोटे मारी बाकी ना बाकी सब भयर मरी जाए भयर सब मरी जाए भय इति विपज्जनक आम जो समय बर्तमान अच्छु गोटे प्रोब्लेम आरइज कर समग्र विश्व से प्रोब्लेम रण है गोटे भाईरस से भाईरसटा रोगर कारण हो पाए कि व्यापार कारण हूँ भय व्यापार कारण भाईरस नु जहाँ भितर भय नहीं से के भी माँ गोटे मेसेज देखते आम से मेसेज पाइ जहाँ भय ना से आनंद सब आड़े बुले चलिए तार कि भी हेनी 
କିଛି ହେବନି ଆମେ ଭୟ ବୋଲି ହଠାତ୍ ଯଦି ଆଜି ଗୋଟେ ମେସେଜ୍ ବାହାରି ପଡ଼ିବ ଯେ ଆସନ୍ତା କାଲିଠାରୁ ଯେଉଁ ପରୀକ୍ଷା କରାହେଇଥିଲା ଟୀକା ସେଟା ସତକଡ଼ା ଶହେ ସଫଳତା ପ୍ରାପ୍ତ ହୋଇଛି ସେ ଟୀକାରେ ଏବଂ ଆସନ୍ତା କାଲିଠାରୁ ଓଡ଼ିଶାର ସମସ୍ତଙ୍କୁ ଭ୍ୟାକ୍ସିନ୍ ଦେବା ଆରମ୍ଭ ହୋଇଯିବ ଆପଣ ଦେଖିବେ ସଂକ୍ରମଣ ଫଂକ୍ରମଣ ସବୁ ଶୂନ୍ୟ ଟୀକା ନ ନଉଣୁ ବି ଟୀକା ନେବା ପାଇଁ ସମୟ ଲାଗିବ ଟୀକା ନେଇ ନଥିବ କିଛି ନାହିଁ ସବୁ ସଂକ୍ରମଣ ଶୂନ କାରଣ ସମୟ ଜାଣିଗଲେ ଆସିଗଲା ଅସୁବିଧା ଦୂର କରିବା ପାଇଁ ଆସିଗଲା ଏଇ ବିଶ୍ୱାସ ସାଙ୍ଗେ ସାଙ୍ଗେ ଦୂର ହୋଇଯିବ ଭୟ ଚାଲିଗଲା ଭିତରକୁ ଭୟ ତ ଡରିକି ଛାନିଆ କରିଦେଉଛି ସେଥିପାଇଁ ମା କହିଲେ ଡ୍ରପ୍ ଅଲ୍ ଫିୟର୍ ସୁପ୍ରାମେଣ୍ଟାଲକୁ ଚାହୁଁଛ ଭୟକୁ ତଡ଼ ଭୟକୁ ରଖନି ପୁଣି କହିଲେ ଉଇଥ୍ ପେସେନ୍ସ ଷ୍ଟ୍ରେଙ୍ଗଥ କରେଜ ଆଣ୍ଡ କାମ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଇଣ୍ଡମିଟେବୁଲ ଏନର୍ଜି ଓ ସେଲ୍ ପ୍ରିପେୟାର ଆଉ ସେଲ୍ ଟୁ ରିସିଭ ଦି ସୁପ୍ରାମେଣ୍ଟାଲ ଫୋର୍ସ ଆମକୁ ନିଜକୁ କେମିତି ପ୍ରସ୍ତୁତ କରିବା ଧୈର୍ଯ୍ୟ ସହିତ ଶକ୍ତି ସାମର୍ଥ୍ୟ ସହିତ କରେଜ ସାହସ ସହିତ ଆଣ୍ଡ କାମ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଇଣ୍ଡମିଟେବୁଲ ଏନର୍ଜି ଗୋଟେ ଅପୂର୍ବ ଏକ ଶକ୍ତି ଶାନ୍ତ ଶକ୍ତି ସାମର୍ଥ୍ୟ ଆମେ ନିଜକୁ ପ୍ରସ୍ତୁତ କରିବା ଆୱର ସେଲ୍ସ ଟୁ ରିସିଭ ଦି ସୁପରାମେଣ୍ଟାଲ ଫୋର୍ସ ସେ ଅତିମାନ ଶକ୍ତିକୁ ରିସିଭ କରିବା ପାଇଁ ଗ୍ରହଣ କରିବା ପାଇଁ ଆମେ ନିଜକୁ ପ୍ରସ୍ତୁତ କରିବା ତାପରେ କହିଲେ ୱି ମଷ୍ଟ ନେଭର ଫରଗେଟ୍ ଦ୍ୟାଟ୍ ୱି ଆର ହିୟର ଟୁ ସର୍ଭ ଦି ସୁପରାମେଣ୍ଟାଲ ଟ୍ରୁଥ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଲାଇଟ୍ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଟୁ ପ୍ରିପେୟାର ଇଟ୍ସ ମ୍ୟାନିଫେଷ୍ଟେସନ ଇନ୍ ଆୱାର ସେଲ୍ସ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଅପନ ଦି ଆର୍ଥ ତାପରେ ସତ କେବେ ବି ବିସ୍ଫୋରଣ ହେବା ନାହିଁ କେବେ ବି ଭୁଲି ଯିବା ନାହିଁ ଯେ ଆମେ ଏଠି କ'ଣ ପାଇଁ ଅଛୁ ଟୁ ସର୍ଭ ଦି ସୁପରାମେଣ୍ଟାଲ ଟ୍ରୁଥ ଅତିମାନସ ଆଲୋକ ଅତିମାନସ ସତ୍ୟ ତାକୁ ସେବା କରିବା ପାଇଁ ତା ପାଇଁ ତାର ସେବା ନିମନ୍ତେ ଆମେ ଏଠି ଅଛୁ ଏବଂ ତା ପାଇଁ ପ୍ରସ୍ତୁତ ହେବା ପାଇଁ ଟୁ ପ୍ରିପେୟାର ଇଟ୍ସ ମ୍ୟାନିଫେଷ୍ଟେସନ୍ ତାର ଏଠି ପ୍ରତିଷ୍ଠା ପ୍ରକାଶ ସେଥିପାଇଁ ଆମେ ପ୍ରସ୍ତୁତ ହେଉଛୁ ଆମ ଭିତରେ ଏବଂ ପୃଥିବୀରେ ଅତିମାନସ ସତ୍ୟ ଅତିମାନସ ଆଲୋକ ଆମ ଭିତରେ ଏବଂ ପୃଥିବୀରେ ପ୍ରତିଷ୍ଠା ହେବା ପାଇଁ ଆମେ ଏଠି ଅଛୁ ବୋଲି ଯେମିତି କେବେ ହେଲେ ବିସ୍ମରଣ ନ ହୁଏ ଅଲ୍ ଆୱାର ଲାଇଫ୍ ଅଲ୍ ଆୱାର ୱାର୍କ ମଷ୍ଟ ବି ଏ କନ୍ସେଣ୍ଟ ଆସ୍ପିରେସନ୍ ଟୁଆର୍ଡ ଦି ସୁପରମେଣ୍ଟାଲ ପରଫେକ୍ସନ୍ ଆମର ସମସ୍ତ କାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ସମସ୍ତ କିଛି ସମସ୍ତ ୱାର୍କ ମଷ୍ଟ ବି ଏ କନ୍ଷ୍ଟାଣ୍ଟ ଆସ୍ପିରେସନ୍ ଚିରନ୍ତନ ସ୍ଥାୟୀ ସବୁବେଳେ ଆସ୍ପୃହା ଥିବ ଚିରନ୍ତନ ଆସ୍ପୃହା ଟୁଆର୍ଡ ଦି ସୁପରମେଣ୍ଟାଲ ପରଫେକ୍ସନ୍ ସେଇ ପୂର୍ଣ୍ଣତା ଅତି ମାନସିକ ପୂର୍ଣ୍ଣତା ନିମନ୍ତେ ଆମର ଗୋଟେ ଚିରନ୍ତନ ଆସ୍ପୃହା ରହିବ ଆମ ଭିତରେ ଦି ଚେଞ୍ଜ ଡଜ୍ ନଟ୍ ନିଡ୍ ଆୱାର ହେଲ୍ପ ଟୁ କମ୍ ବଟ୍ ୱି ନିଡ୍ ଟୁ ଓପନ୍ ଆୱାର ସେଲ୍ଫ ଟୁ ଦି କନସିଅସନେସ୍ ତାପରେ କହୁଛନ୍ତି ଚେଞ୍ଜ ଦି ଚେଞ୍ଜ ଡଜ୍ ନଟ୍ ନିଡ୍ ଆୱାର ହେଲ୍ପ ଟୁ କମ୍ ଯେଉଁ ଅତିମାନ ଚେତନା ଆସୁଛି ସିଏ ଆସିବା ପାଇଁ ଆମର ବା ସେ ଚେଞ୍ଜ ହେବା ପାଇଁ ଆମର ସାହାଯ୍ୟ ଦରକାର ନାହିଁ ଆମର କ'ଣ ଦରକାର ୱି ନିଡ୍ ଟୁ ଓପନ୍ ଆୱାର ସେଲ୍ଫ ଟୁ ଦି କନସିଅସନେସ୍ ସୋ ଦ୍ୟାଟ୍ ଦି କମିଙ୍ଗ ଇଜ୍ ନଟ୍ ଇନ୍ ଭେନ୍ ଫର ଅସ୍ ଯେଉଁ ଆସିବେ ଅତିମାନ ଚେତନା ଆମେ ଯଦି ନିଜକୁ ଖୋଲି ନ ଧରୁ ତାହେଲେ ସେ ଆମ ପାଇଁ ଗୋଟେ ବୃଥା ହୋଇଯିବ ତେଣୁ ଆମକୁ ଖୋଲି ଧରିବାକୁ ପଡ଼ିବ ତାପରେ କହିଲେ ଦ ମାଇଣ୍ଡ ମଷ୍ଟ ବି ସାଇଲେଣ୍ଟ ଟୁ ଆଲାଉ ଦି ସୁପରମେଣ୍ଟାଲ କନସିଅସନେସ୍ ଟୁ ଟେକ୍ ଇଟ୍ସ ପ୍ଲେସ୍ ସୁପରମେଣ୍ଟାଲ କା ଜାଗା ନେବ ମାଇଣ୍ଡର ଜାଗା ନେବ ତ ମାଇଣ୍ଡ ମଷ୍ଟ ବି ସାଇଲେନ୍ସ ଦ ମାଇଣ୍ଡ ମଷ୍ଟ ବି ସାଇଲେଣ୍ଟ ଟୁ ଆଲାଉ ଦି ସୁପରମେଣ୍ଟାଲ କନସିଅସନେସ୍ ଟୁ ଟେକ୍ ଇଟ୍ସ ପ୍ଲେସ୍ ମନ ନିରବ ହୋଇଯିବ ତାହେଲେ ହିଁ ଅତିମାନ ଚେତନା ସେ ମନର ସ୍ଥାନ ଦଖଲ କରିବେ ସୁପରମେଣ୍ଟାଲ ଆସିବେ ଦୋ ଯୁ ଆର ରେଡି ଫର ଦି ଟ୍ରାନ୍ସଫର୍ମେସନ୍ କ୍ୟାନ୍ ଡୁ ଇଟ୍ ଏନି ହୁଏର ଯେଉଁମାନେ ଏଇ ରୂପାନ୍ତର ପାଇଁ ପ୍ରସ୍ତୁତ ହୋଇସାରିଛନ୍ତି ସେ ଯେକୌଣସି ସ୍ଥାନରେ କରିପାରିବେ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଦୋଜ ହୁ ଆର ନଟ୍ ରେଡି କ୍ୟାନ ଡୁ ଇଟ୍ ହ୍ୱେର ଏଭର ଦେ ଆର ଯେଉଁମାନେ ସେ ପ୍ର
कैन नट डू इट ह्वेर एवर दे आर भाई भाई मैंने कथा एक सुपरमेटाल जगत मैनिफेस्ट कर पृथ्वी नूतन जगत पृथ्वी प्रतिष्ठा हम ताज गोटे आडभेर आडभेर एपर्त कई चेष्टा कर कई संपर्क प्रवेश कर जान ना माँ स्वयंद आसिले और आमप गोटे सुजोग आसला माँ स्वयं आसला पृथ्वी में मनुष्य पर आप नूतन जाति आसवा संभावना से जहाँ जहाँ पथ प्रस्तुत आप देखिले माँ कहले अलरेडी सुपरमेटाल वार्ड अच्छी मुझे गोटे सुपरमेटाल बडी अच्छी माँ निजे से अलरेडी अच्छा सुपरमेटाल बडी आने की ए पृथ्वी में पहुँचे गोटे इंटरमिडिएट जोन दरकार इंटरमिडिएट जोन टाक भी न्यू वर्ल्ड कौन अलरेडी या सर या चलती मागे मुझे से पार्टिसपेट कर नुआ जगत जो इंटरमिडिएट जोन को सी न्यू वर्ल्ड कौन से न्यू वर्ल्डा अलरेडी या चल प्रस्तुत अच्छी न्यू वर्ल्ड इज बर्न कौन जब शिवबंद शरीर छाड़े माँ जो शरीर लिखते टू दि हुआ बेन द मेटेरियल इन भल फर मास्टर से जगह माँ गोटे बढ़िया शब्द कह टू दि हुआ आचिव अल फर अस हुआ आचिव अल फर अस अर्थात आमप जहाँ जहाँ करवा कथा स्वयं तो कल सी चली जाइए सब कम शेष कर तेणु ये कार्य सब सरी जा आमर कौन सी सम्मति असम्मति चयस फयस कि निर्भर कर सौभाग्य हम आम कि लोक ये संपुक्त हो माँ कौन कि लोक कारण कि लोक हेल्ले इंडिविजुआल लोक भितर यहाँ शीघ्र शीघ्र प्रोग्रेस कर प्रोग्रेस कर कि लोक रस्ते आस्ते समि गोटे गोष्ठी हे यहाँ बर्तमान दरकार पड़े एवं निजक व्यक्तिगत भाव में कौन कौन लोड़ा भय छाड़ा कजिया करवा नहीं कह एम अनेक कि सर्त स्वाभाविक भाव जीवन बचा भितर ये सब दरकार ताकू आवयड कर निश्चय करवा भाई भाई मैंने ये हूँ गोटे आडभेर ए आडभेर में पार्टीसीपेट करवा भाया सौभाग्य जी आम अच्छी आम जी सचेतन जो आम सौभाग्य रधिकारी अधिका लोड़ा आम कौन अच्छे महान एक दुस्साहसिक कार्य से दुस्साहसिक कार्य उर अल पार्टीसीपेट आम सब गोटे गोटे दरखास्त पकई देचु मान पाखे आम से कार्य अंश ग्रहण कर जीवन रर्वोत्तम सौभाग्य ही ता समस्त को मोर गभर धन्यवाद और कृतज्ञता नमस्कार आज एक पवित्र दिन श्री माँ का विषय श्री अरविंद विषय जो दिन आप कहे जो मुहूर्त तो चिंता करेंगे आप जानवे जे पवित्र समय मनीष जीवन में परर्तन आसो यहाँ बड़ कथा जन अवतार पुरुष ना से खाली कहीदे तुम भल हो जाओ बड़ हो जाओ उज्ज हो जाओ सी हो पार बड़ हाँपाई हेल्ले जड़ता को छाड़ाप पड़ो जड़ता को छाड़ाप पड़ो महान आड़ को जीवाप पड़ो अंधार रू आलोभ को जीवाप पड़ो एवं श्री अरविंद एपर एक तत्व बाहर कले जो कि अच्छी मनीष देवतार परिणत हो पाए दिव्यत्व हासल करने मनीष को बदलवाप पड़ो एवं से तपस्या करू करू भारत वर्ष बदली गला से कहले एत ब्रिटिश आप अधिकार कर नहीं पार ना एवं ये पाकिस्तान बोली से कह जाए चाहती ये पाकिस्तान जदि भी जाए दिन हुए तो फेरी आस ऋषि बचन के कथा ऋषि बचन के मिथ्या हुए ना से जहाँ कही था ही फेरी आसे से आम आशा कर दिन पाकिस्तान आसीज भारत वर्ष को माँ का पाखे पाद ते आज आम प्रणाम करूँ श्री अरविंद को बारंबार प्रणाम करूँ कारण से आसवा द्वारा केवल भारत वर्ष स्वाधीनता युद्ध आगे गला तो आम से जहाँ कहीगले 
जाते बरदारू आसापर एवं तापर देखागला गोटिक पर गोटे कथ सत हो आज से एक मुहूर्त आसी जिते बी आम श्री अरविंद को प्रणाम करने अवतार भाव में से यही भारत बर्ष को परिवर्तन करदे आम मनीष आम मन को आम छोट छोट मन को क्षुद्र मन को विस्तारित तो करदे और से विस्तार भेतर दे ईश्वर आस मई चैतन्य मई सत्यमयी परमे माँ श्री अरविंद शरणागम माँ को पार करण आज आम निखिल उत्कल श्री अरविंद पाठचक्र सम्मी उद्घाटन करे ये उद्घाटन उत्सव उपस्थित अच्छा आम श्री अरविंद संस्कृति संसद सभापति महोदय श्रीजुक्त सातपेढ़ी होता सुनामधन्य साहित्यक एवं आम गहन श्री अरविंद आश्रम पुदुचेरी डॉक्टर आलोक पांडे जी उपस्थित अच्छा वक्तव्य प्रदान कर सारी एवं आम सहित यह उद्घाटन उत्सव उपस्थित अच्छा श्रीजुक्त प्रसाद त्रिपाठी बाबुली भाई आम समस्त प्रिय एवं बरणी पाठ कर संपादक श्री अजित भाई एवं सातपुड़ी होता महोदय आम श्री अरविंद संस्कृति संसद सभापति मुझे प्रणाम करोक पांडे महोदय को भी नमस्कार जनावि अजित भाई को नमस्कार एवं आम प्रिय बाबुली भाई को भी प्रणाम कर आज कल आलोचनार विषय आडभेचर अफ ए न्यू वर्ल्ड यही नूतन जगत टी कि आग को बढ़ुची पुरतन जगत टी कि सम्मुखीन हो संघर्ष करने को पड़ी एवं ताकि भी दुसाहसपूर्ण पूर्ण अभियान के लक्ष्य रखी नूतन जगत आग को बढ़वे लगी सम्मेलन की मातृविहार श्री अरविंद पूर्णांग शिक्षा केन्द्र एवं श्री अरविंद संस्कृति संसद परिसर भितर अनुष्ठित होल मध्यम एवं उपस्थित समस्त अतिथि बापा भाई मान को मु स्वागत करुच्ची आज अधिवेशन रे जो सब विषय आलोचना हो गला से सब अति उपाद समय उपयोगी यही सम्मेलन की हूँ सतैशतम वार्षिक सम्मेलन एवं आम समस्ते अनल देखुचे जोगदान भी करे एक सूक्ष्म अवस्था एवं आसंता वर्ष को प्रार्थना करने माँ का श्री चरण में श्री अरविंद पदकमल जहाँ मैंने जमी एकत्रित होते सेमती एकत्रित हवा बर्तमान आम ये उद्घाटन उत्सव को देखुवा यूट्यूब मध्यम अनल अपा भाई मान को समस्त को मु शुभे प्रणाम जनावि समस्त को पाखे आम अनुष्ठान तरफ रु कृतज्ञता ज्ञापन कर एतिक मोर रोचे ओम आनंदमयी चैतन्यमयी सत्यमयी परमे माँ श्री अरविंद शरण पवन